Allah'a emanet What's going on, everyone? Thanks for What's coming good? out to What's the RWO good? show. What up, dude? What's going what on, up? Chan and Stan? What's going on, Brother Vance? That's not Stan, Stan tonight. It's Stance. Remember? We oh, did this Stance. Backstage. Up, right. It's Stance. I forgot. John got me in there as Stance tonight instead of Stan. <laughs> so, so tonight, Stan's name will be Stance. If, you, if you're talking to Stan, Jamie, you, you must better say Stance. You better correct them. How's everybody out there doing tonight, by the way? How you doing, Ken? Gone, gone, knocking futs, you know, every which way but loose, but holding it together, you know. Who, who do we got in Heard. here? Heard. Stan. Whoops. He's Sorry a double, double dipper. Dip. He's always double dipping. Yeah. That Ken dude here. too. Fucking double dippers. And we just said it, stance, not stand. Get it right. What's up, Blakers? Blakers. How's what it going? Up, Thanks it's for cool coming mofo. out. Oh, show, fo show. He's a cool mofo, I tell you what. It's zombie talk. What time is it? What up, Rob? What up, Rob? Rob? Thanks for coming out. Lucky Rob. What's Bill? going on, Bill? Bill. What up, Victory Bill. Lane? Bill. What's going on, buddy? It's appearing up here. What's up, Jesus. Static? Addy. What's up, what Addy? Up, dude? <laughs> that dude's right. He's he's all right. I'm gonna tell you that dude. He yeah, he's all right, dude. Eddie got some heat over there. Heat. He ain't lying. More forge. What's going on? What's, What's going good, on, John? John? How's it going, buddy? Them guys there. They got something good going. If yes, you don't know. Do. If you're not watching Wednesday nights, you're missing something. Definitely. I think it's Wednesday, 9.30 my time, 8.30 Central, then 7.30 Central Mountain, and 6.30 Western, something like that. Get yourself in the hot seat. I think it's hot. What What's up, going James? On, James? James? I fell asleep before it got to hot James? seat last night. It was like 10 minutes in, I fell asleep. I went to go back and rewatch. Tommy, Tommy, what's going on? What up, Tommy? Ewok. That's my dude there. That's Ewok. That's my boy. Where's all these other mofos at? I don't know. See? <coughs> I told you, stance. And stance. <laughs> I try to, like, you know, try to get them all out there for people. We have to do that for people like Jesus. <laughs> What's up, Brave? Oh, Thanks. for sure. Brave. For sure. Thanks for coming out. What up, dude? What's good, Brave? We have to be very specific for 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 the auction god. Thank you, Jamie. What's up, Jamie? What up, Jamie? She's, 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 she's the hot seat question asker. She puts it on you. Better Very be ready, true. your ass be on fire. On fire. She so needs that little doing? intro. She needs that little <laughs> intro in the beginning. This <laughs> seat is on fire. Fire. <laughs> that would be a good one. Right? Heck yeah. Nice. Then you got the flames roaring. Yeah. A little sizzling and popping in the background. <laughs> Yeah, I need that sound in there too. Yeah, that was a pretty good show. <coughs> well, I like that. I like what they did. Hold on, Mister sure. Yo, Chino, where you going, boy? My man's going. He got a, he got his little rest period. I'm checking My out. To, yeah, he, he just all what of a sudden he just. Huh? Oh, Chino is out tonight. He's just hanging and banging. 
Oh, well, good I'm sure we could do the singing for you and just record it, Jamie. We'll, we'll, we'll sing it for you. You could use it. This is uh, this is Daddy to a couple eggs right here. My first two eggs. So this is Papa right here. Nice. He's a cool looking one. Different. He's um, I'm pretty sure he's. Dalmatian, but I don't know what else is in him. He's definitely got the Dalmatian, as you can see, the spots on him. Yeah, definitely. Stan, you got to record yourself singing that for Jamie so she could use it. What am I going to do now? She, you sang that? Like, th this the seat's on fire? You got to record yourself and send it to <laughs> But so I ain't no singer. We gotta, we'll have to get Benji Payne to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Benji got all the good recording equipment and mics, man. Come on. Benji does it every day. I'm surprised he ain't in here now, actually. He'll Thanks, be around. John. He'll be around. Yeah, he'll pop in. <laughs> Fucking New Zealanders. He just did his eating earlier. This guy loves to eat out of my hand. I don't know much about Preston's, but. I'll be honest with you, man. It seems like the more you work with them and the more you hold them, they just calm right down and get super, super docile. I mean, you see, it's just chill. Well, that's like snakes too, <laughs> dude. Like if you handle your snakes, they you just become way more chiller. Even, uh, even the little ones, like I, I try to handle them. Like each one a different day, just to kind of get right. them used to me reaching in there and touching them and picking them up and holding them and and the little ones are you know they're they're a hundred miles an hour man they're like they're I mean no calm down but what I do is I kind of do this and make them crawl up my hand straight up and then to the next hand and make them crawl straight up again until they start slowing down to kind yeah. of wear them out a little bit you know what I mean because the little ones yeah. are just. <laughs> Man, it's like they're like yeah. kids, bro. They just got nonstop energy. Yeah, I had it on. We had it on for a bit. Show them pretty eyes, boy. That's what I had to do with mine. <clears throat> the female I got, like, I just kept working with her, just going in there, handling her more and more. And, yep. Like I said, the little ones, see, not, I went to set him back down. He's like, no, I'm not going back down. He's not ready. What up, bro? He's out of that. Why are you down there, Justin? Get on up here. I'm playing around. Yeah, for the hat. I'm yeah, playing around. He said it for the hat. What's up, bro? We be rowing. What's good, bro? Oh, 5.0. Rowing in our 5.0. Rowing down the river. Oh, listen at him. Keep going. He's almost there. Come on. Oh, that's where you headed. Did well, you yeah, it is a little there? early. It, it's only 14 minutes late. He's got about Who another six you? minutes to be on time. <laughs> Who's that? Justin. Justin? I oh, know. He's on time. Yeah, his time. He's got about <laughs> another five minutes, and he'll be on time. See, I, he went to his favorite spot, Ben. <laughs> Look. Right on your hat. Yeah. You can't see this girl, but I got that smoke girl out. It, it's hard to see with my lighting here, but I just want to handle her more just so she gets used to me. You need to get yourself a little uh, ring, I ring need, light. I need to, I do got a ring light, but if I put it over there, like if I put it up like facing me, it's too bright. But I got hey, it on Nikki. the side of me. But what's cool on her, I mean, this just looks like chocolate HRA. But if you look at her spine, which is ain't going to see, it's just going to blur out. It's like all pixelated. I hate this. It, I like I like the smoke gene, and what I like the, the most about it is she's starting to put on weight, you know, and their colors change instantly. 
And you know how most combinations get like darker and, and like turn a darker brown? She's turning lighter. Like her darks are getting lighter. It's weird. She's like going the reverse way. Yeah. But I do like the smoke, Dean. That's neat. <laughs> See how it's kind of pixelated? Right. You can't really see it, but there's black dots on there, and it's just on that dorsal. Yeah, on the dorsal, and it, yeah, it, it just like kind of smokes it up. I think that's why they called it smoke because it kind of look, makes it look smoky a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Looks neat though. It's decent. You don't want no smoke. Well, I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. You know damn well he does. <laughs> Yeah, so you're really getting into that smoke now, huh? That smoke uh, I, I'm just working with it. You know, it's going to be something that I have going in, in a couple different directions. I mean, it's going to take me forever to get anywhere with it. I mean, I was thinking about p picking up another male, maybe another female. I I don't know. I mean, if you talk to the guy I got her off of, I mean, I do got her, you know, a mate for her. and she, He's chocolate HRA. So what's going to be cool about the clutch is they're both chocolate and they're both HRA. So you get super chocolate, red Xanthix, and then they're both het green ghosts as well. Nice. <laughs> so it's some... got pastel and smoke in it. And the other one's just HRA chocolate. So some HRAs. So it could be pretty cool. I mean, yeah, definitely. I don't know. He he has a couple other smoke snakes with the smoke gene in it, and um, they're 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 fairly cheap. It's like a hundred bucks a snake that you can get it for. <laughs> you get a male female for two hundred bucks and just put them together and hope for super smokes. I think I don't think that's a bad idea because yeah. I really like like the gene. What's up, Rob from Barnes Barn Family, Family Pies? What's up, Rob? Oh, How's it going? <clears throat> Thanks for coming out. It is cool. You going to have anything uh, breeding this year with the smoke or? No, no, no. This is all I got and she's less little yet. I'm hoping to get her to size for next year. That would be awesome. <clears throat> she, she ate so far both weeks that I, I fed, you know, I had them a little over two weeks. And both times I gave her food, she ate. So that's a good sign that she's going to keep doing it. What's up, Nikki? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I don't know. I just like it. I think it's cool. Yeah, I just think it does something different that nothing else does to it. I ain't putting her back. I'm holding her. Hold she's just chilling. I ain't putting her back. So, like, what, has anyone got any eggs coming? I mean, I don't got no more eggs yet, but I think that lavender is spot nose because it's got too many different tones of, of orange in it to just be a normal, you know what I mean? Like, I, I've never seen a normal lav that had a brighter outline of orange and, you know, she's Get just tested. a little different. Right. Well, I, I'm going to shed test for Het Clown at least. I mean, it could be het tied as well, but I mean, it's definitely getting tested for het clown because I mean, a spot nose lavender het clown, and I think it's a male too. So raise that up, put it back to the mom. Maybe I'll just keep the mom because I was thinking about getting rid of it. <coughs> but, I mean, Powerball, I mean, a, a Powerball, what? Grail? Lavender clown? That would probably look pretty sick. Yeah. But then again, you're taking things with kinking. If I'd hit it and have a kink in it, and, you know, I'd be so upset. So I'm on the fourth forever. <laughs> Come on. Bring it on. 
Kike, my brother. What up, Versa? Oh, uh, what's going on, bro? Bet I have a blade at Clown Pied Live, too. So, I mean, that went to the same mail. So, since that's mail, maybe I should just keep both of those and, you know, see what I hit. Because the, the blade at Clown Pied Live, she's... I think she's gonna go. That 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 dang snake is around as a baseball, you know. What I mean, she's huge, <laughs> and she's been off off food for like five weeks. Last week was the fifth week that she refused food. So yeah. I mean, I think she's getting close. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to tell when they're that big if they go into ovulation because she's just been laying in a ball. She's never been straight. You know what I mean? She's always been laying in a circle anyways and you know she's already as round as a baseball <laughs> like how much rounder do they get yeah they look like <laughs> a blood python in ovulation <laughs> yeah on, I, I stuck my mail with my female the other day but like he went over like she came out kind of scoped him out a little bit then they went and uh laid by each other but that was about it didn't see any lock and so well i mean yeah. you do got those ones that hit and get you know what i mean like they lock up for five minutes and then lay but on the other side of the tub it. yeah i think that's the one that we paired up i think it was like a one and done man because she won't she won't have nothing to do with the, the male justin said it's like yo He's been on the front of the tub and she's been on the back by the heat. Just nope. What did you do to me, asshole? Yeah, he no, might. I mean, well, no, because we had already paired him up before. Yeah, and right. Locked. So I think she was already a big girl. So I mean, I might have, we might have just caught her just in time. You know what I'm saying? Like one of those. Right. One and done. I mean, hey, I'm not going to complain if it happens that way by all stretch of imagination, but. Now, time to tell, time to tell. Blakers just said, just look for scale separation. So, I mean, I've, I've been told to look for <laughs> tail suck. You know what I mean? That's pretty obvious. You can't miss that. I've seen two of them in the last two weeks, anyways. And um, what scale separation, like what's up with that? I've never heard that. Anyone? Anyone? Oh. Um. With the scale separation? Yeah, what does that look like? Is it like is this did it how do they separate? Like I don't know, they're just overlapped. Oh, she's like, hey motherfucker, you didn't come at don't me forget, like that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't forgot forget she I'm was on my head. head. Yeah, and I come and brought them together like that, and she said, Hey, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> she's about to show you when she puts her, your finger in her mouth. No, she's all right. She just didn't like my hand coming at her like that. Well, uh -huh. I wouldn't either. You know, it's all right, girl. It's all right. Calm <laughs> down. The snake's so fat, the scales open up, Eddie said. They open up. <laughs> it's like it stretches out. Yeah, meaning they look Yeah, they like look said, abnormal. It'll like, instead of, you could see it, they're like separated. It's, it's from being so big. Like stretch marks or something in a way, you know? I get, I get it. I just never heard of that, like look for scale separation yeah i had a female that fooled me and i was just like man i was looking for everything trying to last figure out year, if she took or yeah last year that exanthic that went i had no idea if she was even pregnant like i did lock her but i thought she reabsorbed you right know? and she went off food for like six fucking months like it was like forever jeez and, and she, she just started to lose weight. And I was like getting worried. Next thing you know, there's three legs. She's sitting there on three eggs. I just right, thought God she damn. said three legs. Three eggs. <laughs> damn, she was in there sitting on three legs. What the hell? I, I did say legs first, but I corrected myself. All right. All right. I, I thought I was. It just came out that way. I was watching. We're going, the we're going, back, we're going back to the headphones because me and Junior were having a conversation earlier <laughs> on the headphones because. Everybody that buys these gaming headphones with the old flip down mic is getting sold some garbage ass headphones. Right. 
I was watching the, the news. You gotta get the studio joints, you know? You can hear everything. When, Sorry, man. She was watching. Oh, news no, you're ad. good. When you, he, uh, you thought he said the three legs, it reminded me the other day, <clears throat> the other morning I had woken up and I was watching the news. And there was this guy, he was walking down like this construction crew seeing this dude. And he's like, he's got a leg and he's just gnawing down on it. And they're like, what the hell? Like, no way. The person got hit. Yeah. Person got hit by a train and the guy just took the leg and just was walking with like, it's a damn caveman or something. Like it was a turkey leg. <laughs> yeah, just, on it. exactly. Like a turkey leg. That's what I said. Like, rawr, 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 just eating away. Like, it's crazy. So what, ha- what happened is there was somebody that was going down the railroad tracks, got hit by the train. This dude came along, picked up the leg, and started just walking along and gnawing on it like it was yeah. like dinner time. <laughs> mm-hmm. So they, I Big guess they arrested him for for they arrested him for uh, cannibalism. What? Yeah. That's pretty messed up. But no, I've never heard about the globe before they go up, either. Bro. My man is walking around eating a human leg. Oh, yeah, that whole thing's messed up. Like, Well, yeah, the, my man getting hit by the train was the messed up part. And is it, that was his own dumbass fault for getting hit by a train. Well, I mean, some homeless people live by the railroad tracks, bro. Well, I mean, if I was don't homeless... They usually don't get bothered by the railroad tracks, I'll be honest with you. When I lived up in New York and I wasn't even nowhere as close to, you know, any big city, but you can walk down the railroad tracks and I guarantee you in a couple miles, you'll see five, six, eight tents somewhere along that strip in the woods somewhere, which is just homeless people. Mind you, just pick, a spot, pick a spot alongside railroad tracks in the woods a little bit and camp out. That's where they go. That would be about the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Like, how the hell are you going to go to sleep at night? Like, I used, yo, there used to be a train that went by my house, bro, like in the valley, right behind my house. It never bothered me at all, bro. Dude, winter no time way. was the like... worst because the, gr- the ground's frozen. So, in the wintertime, everything was shaking. But in the summertime, man, commuter trains, cargo train, and I didn't hear it unless I was outside in the afternoon. Didn't even bother me. Nah, see, like, I, I could hear, like, freaking a fly fly, fly by my window outside, and I'm up. I, like, something walks through the woods behind my house. I Like, I can hear the leaves crunching, dude. Like, I'm, I'm a light sleeper. Well, because you live in PA, man. You think Sasquatches are out there. It's just a Well, there is Sasquatch out work. there. He is. They're, they're real. Where? And they're, Where? Where? All over the place, and the reason Where? why we can't, the reason why we can't catch footage of it, footage of him, because they release a toxin that make you go cuckoo, and then you don't remember shit. So that's what that, that smell is. Okay. It makes, it, it's a memory eraser. All right. Oh, so it's like the flashlight from Men in Black. Kinda, yeah, yeah. Look into the light. Kinda. Smell yeah. the scent. Smell it. It's the musk. That male uh-huh. pisses and damn, <laughs> son of that stuff. Either, make you lose your mind. Two things. Get you watching too many movies or too many conspiracy theories? Uh, I've watched, I don't it? know. I, I, I've watched a lot of documentaries. I mean, I don't really, I mean, I've watched some movies here of late, but mostly documentaries. I'm telling you, dude, they musk. They'll pee on you and you forget everything. You forget your name. <laughs> Vince, is that the only gecko you got? Is just that one uh, female? Is it a female, you said? Yeah, just the one female. <clears throat> I got a buddy uh, I was talking to. He was telling me he's got a couple that he was going to get rid of. He might give me. Yep, but, might as well scoop them up. Right? Might as well tell him, yo, man, you, you know, if, you, if you're still interested, I'll take them right off your hands, bro. Where are right. the bones? I mean... They're out there somewhere. The bones for they what? Probably what are we go, looking for? They go and down in the caves and shit. They know where caves are at that we can't find. Did you ever see them like rock doors that shut and you don't even see it? Like, there's a lot of shit that's weird out there. A lot of weird shit going on. Anyone hear about the, the solar eclipse that's supposed to happen? 
like When's, on was that? April 8th or 9th, something like that. Yeah, around the 7th or something, yeah. Oh, that's why the grocery stores are selling the sunglasses already, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, only they said $2. The, They're only they said $2. The first one that happened went like this way, and it, it lined up with a bunch of town or names of town that says Salem, and that has a meaning for something. And then now it's going this way and it ha passes through a bunch of towns with the, I don't know, another name. Winston? Maybe, may maybe something like that. I, I, I can't remember the second part of it, but I guess the town that where, you know, if you take the path of this one, it happened like 17 years ago and the path of this one that's going like wherever the X would, would meet is a town that is, and like the Hebrew language means rapture or some shit like that. So it's coming. You better do your Hail Marys and get right with your God. The last full eclipse was 375 years. Well, they said there was something 17 years ago. But it was a different type of eclipse, but it was still an eclipse. What are you talking about? Lunar eclipse? Lunar, you... solar, one of them. I think he's saying the last eclipse for another 375 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or was it 375 years ago? Could be. Or is it going to last for 375 years? Won't be one like this for 375. Oh, okay. <laughs> better stock up in Jack Daniels and beef jerky. <laughs> I'll just stack up on corn and I'll make my own. Bozo better get to the liquor store. They got some limited edition Jack Daniels out there. Oh, shit. Somebody popped in the back, but then took off. See ya. Well, I'm going to say it was probably Jesus. <laughs> we know it ain't Kent because Kent's still gallivanting. Kent's out, his his two his weeks. Dinner. Kent's out for his uh, birthday dinner. It's who I thought it was. Hey, Zeus. Nope. <laughs> Vince, who I thought it was. Justin. <laughs> up, Justin? He, he's about well, right on time. No, you're wrong, Ken. We're going to a new dimension from what I hear. For like the solar eclipse is like sh the whole world's going to change. Why do you think these rich people are going to islands and shit? Like, yeah, like shit's getting ready to hit the fan, man. That's what I hear is like Y'all want to see aliens amongst us and shit. That's what I hear is what's... I don't know. You can only believe so much, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> From an eclipse, It's just been getting a lot weirder. If you've been paying I, I, attention man, to everything... I don't know I'm what the hell kind of shit y'all smoking, guy, but I so. want some, man. Well, whatever <laughs> they're smoking over there, I didn't need to send something Listen, this way. I got the guns and prepared for whatever happens. All of a sudden, we're having a solar eclipse and we're going to see aliens? What the fuck? I'm going to let so many rats loose. Listen, I'm going to let so many rats loose on these motherfuckers. It ain't even funny. <laughs> You'll be catching them rats. You'll be needing to eat them. I'm going to strap little fucking napalm to their asses and fucking send them off and just like out of the bow, just throwing it <laughs> there's already aliens down at homestead like a couple weeks see? ago there was an alien shooting at the mall see see what i'm saying what's that up a couple weeks ago that was it, up, man, that was a while back bro it was in a couple weeks ago what up big what's this year what's what up this year? What up, Wiz? yeah that was a couple oh, weeks ago actually yeah a couple weeks well ago. not a couple weeks ago i think about about a month ago, maybe a month and it's a half. About a month ago, ago. Right. all that shit that happened in the mall, and they wouldn't disclose yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. information and shit. Exactly. Man, it's, it's like the dude was like, up, he was getting interviewed. He was Banna, like, Banna. "Oh man, I seen an alien. Banna. We turned around, and all of a sudden it disappeared. And we turned around again, and it was there. And I'm like, if you guys, you're in a mall, man. You guys ever hear of holographics? You don't believe no, in that and shit? Then, and then they're like, well, my thing is like... Come on, so they small. put Tupac so just, on the stage and do concerts still, right, it looks just, like yeah. him. They're just Neanderthals. That's all they are. They're just Neanderthals running around. Come on, man. What's With up, Beta? What's good, Elias? Yeah. I see you. 
where's 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 our Jesus at tonight? I I know. Know. Hey, I gave him the time. I did the whole <laughs> breakdown for him. I um, was like well, 90 Wait a minute. I, th so I think he's looking for the link. Uh, I'll be honest he's with you. Since it's this, <laughs> this time, he, he may be putting the kids to bed right now before he jumps on. I'm just Shit, saying. They're, they're probably putting him to bed. Yeah, right? Yeah, they're putting him to bed. That's yeah, you're they're like night no. night. Daddy's going no. night night. Night night. They said, you like these gummies? You're going to eat them, too. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> we know what happens every time we eat these damn gummies. <laughs> Mess around, thinks he's got the biazine. Huh? Be some isopropothal rubbing alcohol. Oh, good Dude, God. you know <laughs> only a couple drops of biazine in someone's water will give them the worst case of the shits yeah. ever? The worst case, of like shit. the worst, the worst. My my cousin's girlfriend, like this is how I found out about it because I never knew. My cousin's girlfriend got caught. He putting, backstage sleep, Elias said, <laughs> putting visine drops in a cop's glass of water. They worked. She worked at a restaurant, and a cop had pulled her over and was a dick, and she, you know, got away with it. Put the visine in it, but the cop knew about it. Knew something was up, and. I guess he took that glass of water, you know, with him and had it tested and she oh. got caught for it. Oh shit. Because they was sitting there, you know, he drank his water and he was sitting there having dinner, you know, and then all of a sudden, like an hour later, they're still sitting there and oh he had to go and he was smart. He sipped on his glass of water all night and still had it. Huh. Traces of visine, her ass went to jail for like five years. No, I had a kid in, in school that like made brownies and put X lax in them and gave them to the teachers. And one of the teachers happened to be pregnant, and he, ah. got, he got arrested and put under. Yeah, a that's kid. bad. That's he bad. I mean, we were in middle school. Like this kid was young. Like doing that as just a joke. Didn't think twice about it. You know, like, but still, like, always uh, stick to the edibles. Always stick to the edibles. But yeah, he put a bunch of X socks in the fucking brownies and made them for the teachers and gave them to the teachers. I hey, can never go there. wrong. Hey, there, there he is. is. He's over there in the chat. I did Yo. one teacher like she. I had one teacher. What up? What up, fuckers? What's what up, up fuckers? Hey, Speak for yourself, Baldy. <laughs> that thing is extra shiny tonight. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is shiny. Got down. Oh shit. That's extra. Hey, extra shiny. <laughs> See, he's back there going like this. Oh, you better give that kid some cough medicine for you. Ma, she done. She done got the. Was it the Mucinex Ultra Pro? Whatever they got, I gave her a full dose of adult medicine. I'm waiting for her ass to knock out. <laughs> yeah. Richie, yeah, I used to cough up, like that. My father used to be like, "Yep, Richie. break out the." The honey in the in the bottle, real quick. We'll take care Bro, of that. They, use, they, yeah. they have a what up, Richie? Oh, honey and Jack. Richie, oh. good to see you, bro. Yeah. No, sorry, I'm late. I was talking to a a friend of mine while he was visiting. So. No, I'm good, dude. Good man, you're good. We were you're talking about man. how he wants to move. Move we were up. Just talking about the end of the world. You didn't miss nothing. <laughs> Oh, don't go down that rabbit hole of end of the world scenarios. Oh man, here we go. <clears throat> well, with this lunar eclipse coming, like that's oh, a sign. Here we go. It's oh my over. god. Every everybody's talking about that right now. It's over. Man, dude. go to Circle K and get your glasses so you can stare at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the problem. That's my issue. I don't it only use the glasses. Only cost you dollar ninety nine. The drive through liquor store. The drive through liquor store has all your solutions. For two ninety nine. <laughs> no, see, you just got to look at it and absorb them powerful rays. You got to absorb it, and then you know. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. Right go, at go ahead. I was looking at some powerful rays earlier. Weldon, it was powerful enough. Oh, don't do that! I did that one <laughs> time. No, man. Uh -uh. Felt like so I was, Listen, only I only burns the eyeballs for a little bit. You're only screwed. bro. You'll go blind if you stare at that shit. No, for that shit's, oh that shit's bad, dude. Do you know? Do you know why people don't weld <laughs> with just the regular welding sunglasses on? Does anybody in this group know why? 
Giselle Stillburner Ratner's out. Do, like, do, that shit's do, bad. Do you, do you know sparks. why they? Do you know why they want you to wear a mask? Because the sparks will catch your hair on fire and shit. No, no, <laughs> no. Well, I don't. Anybody? I don't know. That'd be my guess. I All right, will, for but see I don't you, know the purpose. For, for see, see you, um, pale, <coughs> pale white folk. Uh, when you're welding, seeing that arc starts, it's called flash burn. And if you don't have that welding mask on, so you'll you look like have, what? You'll look like and Justin you just have glasses on. Yes, your face. Well, let's. I put it to you like this: flash burn is like sunburn times ten, bro. Yeah. Times ten. What up, Banna? Your skin feels like it's just constantly on fire, bro. Yeah. That's the one thing I Trust didn't like me. about welding was the suit in your nose. I used to weld sometimes Hate with a tank it. top on, and the next day I paid for it hard. Oh yeah. Core, bro. Because so I, I don't, I wouldn't care arms. if it was ninety degrees on. I'd have my jacket, my welding jacket on, some yeah. long sleeves over that sucker, and then some heavy duty gloves. I don't care. I don't want to get wet. You'd be wet. You'd be wet when you're done well. They'd be like, man, I got to take this coat off. (laughs) I smell like swamp ass after a while. And I, I, it's just hard (laughs) to get looking and see where you're at when you're underneath there. You know, it's jacked up or whatever. And we're under there. And I I just did it without the mask one time. Mm -mm. About three o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I swore somebody threw like sand in my eyes because that's what it felt like. You well, had your because hands everywhere. Because the retinas flash burn. burnt. I burnt my the retina. Fla- yeah, Liars. The flash burn burns your retina. That's, that's, that's what yeah. happens. Your brother is about to be retina. rolling in some bank. That's what he's about to be doing. Yeah, he's about to be <laughs> you know, you know Underwater they, welding? Hell yeah. He's about to have a whole ring making some money. You know what yeah. they give you? Do you know what they put hey, in your eyes once you burn uh, your retinas? I tried not to burn. That's what I was doing today. Welding. I tried not to burn down a Kihi trailer. <laughs> if you burn your retinas and like if you do it like three times in your lifetime like there's nothing they could do because like the second time they, they use this shit it could technically blind your ass and it's more and less liquid cocaine that they put in your eyes to numb your retinas yeah let's not let's not do that there's no there's yeah, no so uh, burning not, retinas not, for welding where uh, all proper ppe when you're welding i, I don't do that no joke. more I did it once, and, and don't be do and don't be like my boss and go to Harper Freight Tools and get the welded mask. Just saying. <laughs> oh my well, god! Well, I mean, if you're if you're a homeowner and you do it every once in a while, I guess that thirty nine dollar one. Bro, we do this shit for a living. But if you do this shit for a living and you're buying your employees yeah. thirty nine dollar ones, like oh, dude, no. you're, <clears throat> nah. that's pretty. I'm bad, not putting. Uh, listen, I'm not putting it on, bro. Nope. I'm telling you I right mean, now. You I'm could not... go to like the GTNS I'll, I'll... store. That's the, the welding Listen, store up here. I will zap that 80 shit. Bucks. I will zap that shit spot by spot with no mask on, bro. All I gotta do is put it there, hit the button. Close close my eyes, hit the button. Close my eyes, yeah, hit the well, button. You're not Superman there. We uh, nope, we yeah. did more than tack welding. We couldn't when I had welding. when I had my, my first welding job was it I was welding pipe. I didn't say tack welder. I was, you can run a whole bead like that, bro. Wow, that's good. That's respectable. <laughs> run a bead like that, that's respectable for sure. You ever watch the Chinese do it? No. They use Videos a little on. gun. That, they use a little gun that almost looks like a TIG welder. And they do it. They just go zip, zip, zip. And dude, it looks like nickels stacked right on top of one no. another. And they do it <laughs> And, and like you're saying, like spot by spot. <coughs> Normally, no. If I'm running a steel long bead, no, I'm going to do half moons or figure eights. I'm not going to do it piece by piece. But doing, Justin knows, a Kihi trailer is a is a reefer trailer. So it's fit, the walls are filled with foam. You can't just keep running a solid bead. You'll no. light the foam on fire behind the wall. Light won't the know. You'll burn the trailer yeah. to the yeah. ground. You'll burn the trailer down. Yeah, man, no joke. It's not like the normal trailers or sea container. You can run a full bead. Or you can run it and then drop and then run it and then drop. Bro, I was sitting there running like two-inch beads and then soaking it with a bottle of water just because I don't want to burn the trailer down. I mean, what are you going to do? It's a lot of heat for welding. 
Yeah, you yeah, it is. Even time. after I got done, bro, the aluminum was so <laughs> hot you couldn't even touch your hand on. It. I was as as fast as you were spraying water on it, it was just drying up. Yeah, yeah. I used to work for uh, aluminum. So you're before, doing aluminum on top of that. You can't run super high. I'm putting heat, her back. So, <laughs> no. so we got no, to like, switch gotta over with the aluminum. Right. Yeah, we got to switch over with the aluminum gun on the MIG welder, and yeah, it's a pain yep. in the ass. Pain in the ass. Trust me, I've been there, done that. And those key okay. trailers, they destroy them. They want them coming back like it, like it just came back from the factory. It's like, well, why don't you pay the factory price, bro? I used to work for a company building the um, those like big garbage cans made out of metal for like foundry places where they put scraps in. Yeah, yeah. I used to we used to build those garbage cans that that tilt. I used to do those. Man, building them things were a pain in the ass. So wait a minute, guys. We're, we're kind of getting off topic. <clears throat> where, where's Vance at? What, what, what's the topic for the night? What, what are we supposed to be actually talking about instead of the end of the world and welding? I don't know. No, we didn't. The topic say that. for tonight was supposed is is going to be on. Uh, well, when Vance gets back here, it's going to be on p- p- pest control. Pest control. Let's do it. Mm. Like, dude, d- there's one simple Pest solution control. to that, <laughs> and I stand by it. These guys will tell you because they told me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need does the first thing. does the first word start with hot? Yes, most certainly does. You All need right, I get the first thing. point. I get the first point. I get the, the first second point. word shot, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, just to get the point. And, just to get the point. It's just not. It, it's just not hot shot. Hot shot. What? What? Now, what? I don't know where you got that gel shit from? I ain't never heard no shit in my life. Yeah, because that gel <laughs> shit. That ain't it. Fuck. No, that gel shit wasn't it. What? What, what do you got to get though? What? What is it? Explain to the people. You want me to show you? I'll show you. Yes, yeah, show it up. Because mine's all cut up in little cubes. <laughs> right here. This right here, it's called a hot shot. Okay, That'll oh, save gosh. you. You take it, you peel this son of a bitch apart, right? I'll show the audience here. Take it, peel this son of a bitch apart, right? Then you got a big ass orange slice of fucking cheese. Then you cut it, it in pieces. Cheese. <laughs> cheese. You cut it into fucking pieces, right? Which end up at the end of the day, well, my jar is empty. Normally, I have a full. But in it, been in a day, looking more like a little square. Looking like a little square, like this. So, literally, like a little piece for a rat trap. Everything. If you guys are worried Correct. about your goddamn cocoa, whatever it is, you worry about wood mites, whatever. Fuck, flies. Take it all away. Fly, flies come flying in my goddamn snake room, or excuse me, my, my, my snake room. And when they fly in here, I could watch them last for fucking two minutes and they're dead, you know? So at the end of the day, get you guys some hot shots. You'll never worry about mites. You'll never worry about nothing. Nothing. Since I, mean, I started using I'm that? Not, you ain't going to worry about no diseases or, or no illnesses R. or R. whatever I like that. You. R.I. or nothing. No, this is not going to stop that. You need to fix your husbandry at that point. You need to go down to your... Your moisture, humidity, etc. What you learn in your bins, etc. But you want my honest opinion? Do you want to save from keep yourself from having mites or anything down the road? Get some hot shots. Don't be dumb. Blaker said you should be wearing gloves. I don't know why, but I, I was just about, I was just about to tell him you better hand Sandy his hands. The bottles <laughs> up there Listen, behind him. Don't always follow this Florida boy because I am backwoods and I don't give up. About certain things, so I didn't see yeah, like right that. after he's done handling that, he's gonna go get a chicken wing. I will go get a chicken wing and eat it. I will man, bro, we I'm ain't right got here. no time for cod, ain't no cod. Don't tonight. follow me all the way. I will say, but I will give you some good advice. Cod has but... been cod's on reboot right now, bro. Yeah, cod's. I'm not getting on cod right now. I've been on cod all week. It gets to be a bad addiction for me, so I have to stop it. <laughs> At <laughs> least it's an addiction. That's all he wants to do. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the uh, hey. See, that was his first step right there, knowing he has an addiction. See, it's see? the problem. Yes, that's the first. Now he's step got to eleven. Recovery. He's got eleven more steps to go. No, fuck that. Twelve steps. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't admit it. That's enough. What up, dog? 
You're yeah. about halfway. I mean, there. other other than the uh, the, the hot shot strips, I would definitely say you know <laughs> probably once now, a month. Another big thing that every other month is a nice thorough cleaning. You know, make sure well, you hold up. I'll get disinfect you your tubs and disinfect your rack. You know what I mean? Who wants to get on, bro? Ro wants to oh, get he, on. I'll, oh, I'll he, he wants to get on because nobody wants to get on COD. Hey, I want to see like, the other two big things I keep in my house. He's coming over to hang out with the cool kids. Is reptile spray. I keep this shit in my house at all times. I keep this. Right? Yep. And also, if you want to do your own disinfectant and stuff, you got to dilute it. Don't buy the bottle and just pour it in a damn spray bottle and spray it. You got to dilute it to... I do one ounce to a gallon is what she does. I don't know how she has the other stuff written down on paperwork. I, I don't have it all written down in front of me, but chlorhexidine is a good cleaning solution for cleaning your case. Yep. See, I don't even write it down on the paper. You know what I do? You, <coughs> you get could a eyeball sharpie. You can, when you do it yep. enough, you, can, you get, you, yeah, you get a I sharpie and you can write it on the, the side of the bottle. Yep. A sharpie on the back, one ounce to yep. a gallon. Too, but. That's what I do right there. Same thing. This dude there, still ain't chill. He still just wants this, to bite No matter me. what, guys, will save you through any mites or anything, too. Just go ahead and spray. Like, any of your new snakes you get in, put them in quarantine. Spray them with a little bit of this. Put you a, a hot shot in there is what I kind of do for a little bit. Then I pull a hot shot out, and I kind of just watch them and maintain them and feed them, et cetera, et cetera. And then when you feel like you're comfortable enough to put them in your collection, you put them in your collection. But no matter what, you got to. It's all risk, so we have a lot of money sitting in these drawers. We want to be precautious. We want to run every precautious you can run, you know? Right. So, <laughs> I'm going to do the best I can and what I know knowledge-wise. I mean, there's a lot more steps I'm sure I could take, but I, I, I just do what I, I tell can. you what, though, seriously. Like, I live on the edge of the woods. We have a lot of little fuck of bugs around here. Like, I always had gnats. I can never get rid of the gnats. Even in the winter, there's still two or three of them motherfuckers flying around. You know what? Since I started using them hot shots, I ain't seen a one. I ain't got any. It kills there's everything. No so if you, have, if you have if you have bugs like roly-polies and stuff like that, like isopods and stuff, don't get them nowhere near them. You can't have that in the same room. Listen, it will Alex kill keeps her spiders all in the bugs. Alex keeps her spiders in the back part of the house because of all the hot shots in the front side right. of the house for all the snakes. And, and you're also afraid of them, so that you know that helps. That helps too. Well, no, not okay. when in my bedroom. That doesn't he help. He just wants to bite. That's I crazy how he my bedroom, reflects the light. It doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to come in. <clears throat> hey, quick question, he guys. What See, do you guys? <clears throat> what do you guys think about? Pew pew. Cool. I got I got a possibility of besides my ARS rack that's coming. <laughs> I'm looking. I know a person up here in my area that's getting rid of three TGR racks. So well, any kind of racks are going to help you. So I mean, it's TGR. They're double, yeah, TGR. They're double stacked, so it's technically four, six racks. Wait. Who makes TGR? It used to, it used to be out it used to be out there, but now they don't do that bro, no more. Bro, bro. What up, bro? What's up, what what up Mr. Cool, Call of bro? Duty? What up, floppy Man. floppy? She just, just came from the fair with the uh with the fam. That's, what's what's up? Up? Uh, that's why he's Cod Jonesing. He Did you win me a teddy bear? Did you win me a teddy bear? <laughs> Oh no! Well, they had like they only had like rides and stuff or whatever because like the military they put on like this big old fair every year or whatnot, and you come out with your fam and you no know, free rides, you know, um, like cheap nice. food and all that good yeah. stuff. Yeah. So nice, nice. we was out there for about three, four hours, man. Yeah. Nice. So six racks, two grand. Six racks. How many? Two how many? How many snakes? tiers and how many bins and what's the yeah, size? Okay. So it fits the 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 TGR rack, the the big one that fits the seventies. Obviously, it's gonna be ten high because it's seventies. It, it's fitting the seventy RS. Yeah. What's going on, Richard? And then the other two. So that's twenty. So he said they're double. No, it's right? two five. It's two. It's two seventies stack. So it's five and five. So it's ten. Ten tubs. Ten. Okay. Ten right. tubs of the twenty-eight quart, and then the baby rack, which fits 
I don't know how many because it's like 16 You're levels. You're gonna need the hatchling <laughs> rack, so yes, I'm yeah. hatchling Why rack are they running sure. 70s and a 28? It, the 28 is like comparable to like all right so first like of all the, when he's saying 70s he's meaning 41s 41 court yeah. same thing as 70 series mm -hmm. 41 court and then 28 court and then hatchling rack so yeah. 28 court is that is 28 is that, court like what we have here sterilite 28 correct court yes. yes okay then yeah. i don't and, know and about listen in the 70 that. the 70 series is the 41 which is the other <laughs> rack that's out in the shed that's out in the shed so mm -hmm. so it really isn't even a 70 series tub to begin with right yeah, that is considered a 70 yeah, that is considered yeah, 70. I, I, I get what it's considered but it's not an ars bin correct no it's not it's no it's not a, it's not an ars okay. bin but then, the ars no, bin is still ARS. measures the same yeah it'll sorry, still measure the same yeah I'm not, I'm i just okay. think the ars pricing. bin is either Either the ARS bin is a little taller or it's just a shade wider. It's one of the two. That's the I'm only sorry, difference between that and a Sterilite bin. You You're talking about Sterilite bins at the end of the day. I can go to Walmart and get the 28 quarts, two for $10, okay? Right. So you're telling me you're going you're gonna to charge me 2 k for how many bins all total? So how many racks total are you paying 2 k for? Because at the day you're talking probably like, but not it's 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 bucks in bins, not even six hundred. It's bucks in bins. yeah, it's two k for the racks, bins, and all the stuff that he has. How, how many? How many? How many bins total is what I want to know. How ten, many total ten, and then the baby rack holds. So twenty uh, three across, and it's sixteen levels high. Damn! Fuck no! Nope, not so that's like fifty, not like over fifty. That's pretty rough. Like, that's a little high. I'd say it's a little yeah, high. Fifteen hundred. But that's that's including he's giving me all the tubs for the baby rack. Okay, I'll give you all the tubs for the baby rack. I got plenty in here. <laughs> like and all the herb stats done. too. He's getting he's to he's me. fully getting out of the business. Oh, herb stats. Uh, herb stats too. Yeah, he's getting out of the business. Uh, that makes it a little bit better if they're hurt. Yeah, hurt if they're real hurt oh, stats. Oh, oh. How many hurt stats? Who, who, how many? Say? Yeah, that's oh, my next question. Is how many hurt stats are you getting? One, three, three, okay. three singles. Uh, let me look real quick. Because a like, hurt double. stat a single can only run like what two? Like it's no, only a got only two. Gonna run one rack. A single's only gonna run one rack. Yeah, a single's gonna a double, run one rack. Quad. Then you have a quad. Do you have a single, a double, and a quad? And then when you get well, the you have that dog, six too. Yeah, that, that herb stat six. It's a right. it's uh okay. hold on, hold on. It's one herb stat two and two herb stat fours. Okay, oh, that's great then. Oh okay. yes, okay, yeah. I'll give you the two K. I'll give you the two K. Okay, and yep. now we talk. Give you the 2K. Now we talk. Now you're talking because you're talking yep. three hundred bucks a piece on herb stats. I got I got two <coughs> fours sitting right here. Wi Fi. That's four. almost a thousand dollars in herb stats. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah. Almost. yeah. I mean, yeah. So, so like yeah, now, I'll, I'll give you two K for that. I would do. That. I'd do it. Hell yeah. Okay. That's worth it. <laughs> so said, we gotta make it pleasable. We gotta understand the whole situation. Yeah. So to it's ten plus ten. Better, 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 swing better. I'm not trying to be complicated, bro. I'm not trying to be complicated. You're making no, it fucking complicated over I here. I didn't think it was worth it unless Jeez. it had the herb stats either. Now the service stats come with it, and it, yeah, that definitely they, makes it worth it. Look, a floppy did, little thing over there. Do they still make those racks? His no, his? no, they don't. Okay. okay. He's a captain. Wait, who gives a shit about herb stats? What are you running, Vivarian? <laughs> over there? Oh, no. Well, it's it's the same. The baby rack yeah, looks I like do, this. Actually. The baby rack looks like this. That's not bad. This is the T this is a TGR and only holds three, six, nine, twelve. It holds fifteen. And this is only one, two, three, four, five levels. The one I'm looking at is 16 levels. Nice. So you figure three across, 16 levels. That's a lot of baby rack space. That's 48. That's like 50. That's what it's supposed 48. to be. 48. 48. Yeah. 48. 48. 48 uh... That's still a lot of baby space. But at the rate I buy shit. 48 and you got 15 there. The only way I look at it, the only thing that, that downfalled me was the Sterilite tubs. Because yeah, you know, but I'm a dozen at Walmart or whatever for especially on a hot sale day, you know, like yeah. I was getting them for what stand for like two for ten for the twenty eight quarts. So and they uh, like eleven bucks. Was eleven bucks still like yeah. an extra dollar? That ain't 
that ain't nothing compared to paying twenty dollars a bin or or whatever, you know. Yeah, but yeah. that that's and I, I don't I think the forty ones are like <laughs> the fuck are the forty ones? Twelve bucks. I don't know. Inkbird, I've been hearing like good that. things about cap. I tell you, I, I, I run Inkbird. Inkbird. Bro, the, the the Sterilite yeah, Dubs, the 28 quarts are about the same size as the FB20s. Yep. Ink birds have been around forever, bro. Forever, bro. Oh, ink birds are what's used in the fish community. <laughs> ink birds have, have been, been used in the growing community forever. Yeah. <laughs> fish are, their color of fish you know what we're talking about. are way more, like, you know, Pickier than snakes and reptiles. You got to be right. Oh my on god! Tell me about it. Them fucking ink birds beeping all the damn time. Mm. No, all you gotta do is turn the damn alarm on. But you need the alarm, the alarm on. So if the fish temperature changes, you need to adjust it. <clears throat> is that a green tree? Yeah. Nice and calm. I'm gonna go put. Bam, bam, to destroy it. What do they the normally court. go for, bro? Bam, bam. Uh, well, this one went for uh forty-five. Say again. This one went for forty-five hundred. Forty-five. Yeah. So, but the average price of them are like maybe like fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred to about twenty five hundred, three k. His color blue, right? Isn't that like a turquoise blue one, though? Yeah, but you got the fully loaded version, though, huh? Bro, it it looks (laughs) green on screen, but that's bluer in person. Yeah, it's a blue one. Oh, for sure. I could tell you like this. I could pick up one right now. Ready? His tail. You see his tail? Yeah. Yeah. His tail looks blue. Yeah, yep. so that's that's like, that's like all on his dorsal, his whole dorsal like that. Man, maybe I should hit that guy up. I can go pick up one right now for three. Yeah, was it a be up for three hundred? A be up? A what? Be up. So it's a type of locality. So you got. Oh, I don't know. I'd, I'd have I'd have to ask him. Yeah, you got to ask them. You got I got, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be finding deals on Craigslist, bro. Like, like no other. Yeah, a lot of people they like. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Well, Ken, I know Ken said it the other week. He was like, a lot of people just keep them on a the stick. I'm like, nah. If my mind was just digesting, that's why I don't take. I ain't take them out. There ain't See? no fun on a stick. Oh, you, you make me want some now, bro. You make make me want some. I just yeah, I go pick up one for three hundred. Hey, let me know. Let me know. Craigslist uh, shopping, I can baby. Put you in a loop with somebody that got some, you know, in about a month or two. You know, no, I, I'm just gonna let you take control over it, and you just call me up when you need a little bit of money, and we're gonna just, you know, just run them together. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm the investor on the side. We'll just let you run it. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, I need be I need be a stack right now. <laughs> Send me a stack right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. If it ain't a stack, if it ain't a stack, just if it ain't a stack, just send him the credit card number. Yeah, I got yeah, that, that, that fucking TikTok. You see the blue on his nose? The card on yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah. That bitch is clean. Look at that shit, bro. It has X's on its eyes. It looks like it's dead. Look. Oh, yeah. It has the X's. <laughs> That's nuts. That's crazy. Looks like That's a dead cartoon a snake. He has axes. <laughs> Man, I gotta go. Let me see. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta That's go cool check shit. now. Hmm? I said I gotta go check now. I gotta go see what I was seeing. Wait a minute. Yeah. So, like, with Beox and stuff, like, some of them have a aggressive and aggressive, like, you know, um, I guess demeanor, what yeah. you would say. But you just got to work with Beox a little bit more than any right. other, you know, locale. But, yeah. And this is my little boy, Shimron. Shimron. Yeah. That's cool. Like Dragon Ball Z, the, the dragon Shimron. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, he in his cage or whatever, like, this all he going to need his whole time living. 
you know, his whole entire life. So uh, he like two, about two and a half. Who'd you get that from? Uh, Bill Stegel. Bill Stegel. Mm -hmm. The mayor Bill of Stiegel. Condro. Yep, the mayor of Condro Town. The mayor of Condro Town. Yep. Bill Stegel. Yep. I don't know Siegel. much about Condro. Siegel. Siegel, Ken. Siegel. 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 No, Siegel. 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 Guys, There's bro. a T in it? Stegel. Yeah. S T E. Uh, I was right. Yeah. What Justin I, got? I, I, send, I send you uh, his information, but if y'all want something. Mm, Here you go, Vince. Bump me up. There we go. The mayor, right? He's ben, a driver. The mayor. <laughs> That's a peach throat. Yeah, I was supposed to go pick up my one from uh, Mark. I don't know, that looks like a girl tail? to me. But... See that blue tail? Mm hmm. Her facial expression looks like female to me, just saying. Well, I mean, you can't, it's too young to tell. You can't, yeah, I know, up. but I'm just so saying, how looks the like fatness in the tail. <clears throat> it's really the fatness in the tail you can tell, on the which they don't like their tail touch at all. Which, see, she gets, she gets so, so how long, how long do it, do it take? He told me a year to be full grown. What it's, it's tearing tuna, it's tearing tuna up. Tuna, I gave it a bunch of tuna today. It's been giving it pinkies. I've been giving it pinkies, so it's been eating pinkies, bro. It, this thing is a wild like, like you want to have a raptor, bro? Here's your raptor. But like, Banner, you, like Banner, you must about to get a uh, Condro too, Banner. I love how I got out of the baby, though. You see how calm it is, and it's just starting to yeah. be like pretty relaxed with me. Like, I think that if you really want to get it, get underneath the chin. Mm hmm. And just get it to look. Lie. He's doing this, Kevin McCurley. <laughs> What'd you say the kind was again, bro? Huh? But she's what, great. What, what kind of locality did you say before? Yeah. Uh, Biak. Yeah, I that's think. what it is. Uh, for 300, you better grab that shit. Yeah, all right, snag that's it up. Well, yeah, you can, yeah, you can tame them down and all that good little stuff. Yeah. Well, it's an adult. Um, it's an adult too. Oh man, yeah, well, female or male? Uh, 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 Justin says it was, sold, says says it was sold to them as a female. Okay, but he says they're not sure, so they're selling it as unsex. Oh, okay. Hmm. You can just gotta probe it. A lot of times you gotta probe it, and then a lot of times with uh, me, uh females, they have like bigger heads than males. Males are, are so much Ruther? narrow, narrow than females. So, so what's what, up, prophecy? What's really cool about that monitor to me is all you guys get to watch that thing grow up. No, the guys. fucking look right here. No, I, mean, the dot, I got the, it. The dots on it look look crazy. Bro. So I need, up, I, need a, I need a unisex name. I'll even call it to the audience. Y'all can message me in the Instagram chats. I need a badass unisex name. So I need people to Instagram me. Y'all come up with something that's sick. A... Bro, I need something like military. I want something. That's bad. it right there, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good spot. That look like a, a rule. That's it like, it's it got, like it's got uh, the looks of the picture. It looks like it's got like yellow spots on it. Um, you might gotta, you see. might gotta, uh, like send it in the group chat or whatever. And then I see it, I'll let you know. <laughs> the only and thing no, is, but, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see anybody the with their hands on it. Bro, the dots on it are sick. They're all like green and yellow. Like the camera doesn't do justice, oh, bro. God. Hey, send, send it them, in the group. Send a picture of the group in the group of it. Like, <clears> like I try to get. A, yeah, I'll try to get a good one. With my camera, bro. The tail's so blue. Like I don't know how to explain. Like it, it's yeah. just like it's something different. Like and when I got it, it it's like I can just watch its gears running. Like everything about it just intrigues the hell out of me, bro. It literally does. Like. I love my ball pythons. Don't get me wrong. I love my ball pythons. But like this, I could sit there for hours and just watch the cage and just stare at it, bro. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's up there. <laughs> Which I did my ball pythons. Oh, like, yeah. What a little milk in it. 
It's really cool. Chocolate. It's definitely something different. Well, I don't really have chocolate. I got Sorry. the bearded dragons. I got the crested geckos. I got the gargoyles. But this is definitely like something different. Take the cake. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> I always wanted like a, a Cayman. <laughs> it's like, I can't have that. So what's the next best thing? A monitor. That 1.1. 1. 1. Get you a peach throat, homie. 1.1. 1. 1. Your, boy, your boy's got a nice one, Justin. Who? He's got a quince. That's sunset. Who? Uh, Steven? Fuck. Yeah. Come on. Look at them sunsets. Run Oh, them. yeah. Damn. Bro, always beasting them things up. No. Nah. Point one. Is that a that's a one point one row? Yeah. Damn, nice. Up for sale tonight's auction. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> he got up and put them away quick. His uh uh-uh. nope, not tonight. Said, Wait a minute. Hell no. Not tonight. <laughs> damn, I ain't never seen him get out of that chair so damn fast. Oh, he said, I'm out. Nope. They not for sale. Oh, they, coming back empty-handed now. Uh, what's I've up, been, prophecy? More market. I've been. Yo, what's up? Doing good, prophecy. Oh, uh, yo, what's up, bro? Can you hear me? What's up, Rooster? We, we didn't. No, we can't HR hear you. We can only hear you. We didn't say HR eight three times. Why are you showing up? Uh, can you? You can't hear me. It was only two times. <laughs> yeah, we hear you. Hey, yo, how's that Where Mel? How's that Mel doing? Has he aiming yet, Sam? Yeah, he's eight, bro. That's good. That's good. That's why I'm out here. He's smashing <laughs> ASFs just like everybody else. ASFs all day, every day. I don't know about yeah. every day, but it's they definitely day don't. Day. They don't. They don't hesitate. I, bro, uh, bro. Today is such a great day, bro. My black girl <laughs> ovulated, and I. Oh I, yeah. I made. I made a poor decision, bro. I bought a fucking. Uh, I bought a, a 2009. Uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse GT, bro, and I ordered like the butter, the Lamborghini door, like kit thing. <laughs> oh, I'm, so man, it's about to be boost. Is that why? Is that why you're pacing? Because you're making me dizzy, my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm excited as heck, bro. Like I'm doing it. I'm getting it wrapped, bro. So I'm gonna get it wrapped, and then I have my logo on the hood. Hell yeah. Nice. Rooster, yeah, where the heck is your stand, man? Prophecy coming down to prophecy coming to Daytona this year, boy. Oh, oh shit! So now that we're sure. on about this, hey, 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 got good news. What's up? Oh. My mom's gonna want to watch my kids when I go down to Daytona, so I'm flying oh, yeah. solo. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. So yep. you come Oh, everybody, shut evening? your doors. Liquor stores are closed. Right. Hey, Zeus is coming to town, boy. Flying he solo. My, he gets to deal all with right. me all weekend now. He gets to deal with me for the whole shebang, Jesus. The whole. Are you, are you, oh, no, are no. You ready for this? Are you ready? It's for the other way around, me? homie. You get to deal with me. <laughs> I'm still coming hey, just on, re- bro. I'm just going to remind anybody that's in this chat that comes to Daytona, just one street you don't go on, you just don't go on Sea Breeze. So I'm going to tell What's on Sea Breeze? Just don't ah. go on Sea Breeze, bro. Don't go on Sea Breeze. Unless you want to get stabbed, you go on Sea Breeze. No, I don't want stabbed. Those zombie I'll boys. put it to you like this, bro. They sell shirts in Daytona on the boardwalk that says, I got stabbed on Sea Breeze. Huh? Huh? I'm going to get one. Huh? <laughs> <That's crazy>. Yeah? <laughs> Bro's like, I'm coming in hot. <laughs> so, yeah. I was, so I was actually talking to her about Daytona and how I want to go down there. But I, want, I was like, I want to bring the kids with me. And I was like, I was, I was asking you if you wanted to come down. No. And then reading all the FFA regulations on oxygen tanks and her and all that stuff, she was like, sounds a little bit complicated to travel with an oxygen tank. I'm like, just a tad bit. So she's no, like, I'll, I'll, I'll watch them. I'll, I'll watch them for the weekend. I think last night, Ashley uh, sn- uh, sniped me last night for that uh, spot nose chocolate. <laughs> Head clown mail, bro. Um, oh, man, I bro. saw you. I saw you. I saw you putting your bid in for that auction, and I was like, "Let me erase my bid." Homeboy over here want to grab it real quick. So it's like, bro. let me delete that hey, bid real quick. That motherfucker, beginning breeding season tomorrow. 
Hey, hey, Arrow, look, don't worry, bro. We're going to make the same thing but visual, bro. Just let me know. I'll give you the homie discount. What you got? <clears throat> well, we're, we're doing, not be um, no HRA spot nose We're nonsense. doing a uh, pastel chocolate, uh, triple hypo DG clown to uh, super pastel fire, super pastel fire, yellow belly spot nose female. Uh, Sounds like a bunch of pastel to me. Sounds yeah. like pastel, Listen, pastel, pastel. Hey, it's, it'll be a dark night, so like, come on now. It'll be a pastel dark night. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Ain't nobody hey, hey, pastel you get to me discount, too. That's super <laughs> super. You know what? You know what? Everyone but Iro gets the, uh, everyone, 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 excluding Iro, doesn't get the homie discount. <laughs> <laughs> but that's your hey, office. don't go, don't go saying that because <laughs> your steak bro, supply has been getting a like... homie discount from me. You know the <laughs> rodent supply has been coming <laughs> from me, homie. I'll I know, I know, bro. Pressure pythons to pastel pythons. Does that help? <laughs> hey, Asus, Asus is our rat guy for real, bro. He, he's the plug. That's what's up. What's up, Nick? What up, Nick? What's up? Static. The awesome eclipse is on the eighth. What up, 8th. Triple Nick? I if y'all ain't following Nick, please do. He's I'm on Saturday pretty. nights on Sipping with Serpents. Yeah. Y'all want to check him out? I believe he comes on oh, yeah. at eight thirty Eastern link. time. Drop that link. I, I, at eight. Hey, drop that link. It's eight. 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 My bad. My bad. Eight o'clock. Sipping yeah, with serpents yeah. Saturday nights. My damn dream sickle, he's doing better. Like he scratched his head like maybe a month or two ago, uh when he was um shedding or whatnot, but it's healing up. It, it's healing up better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh, that sucks, Nick. I got another one that had a crazy. I don't know. We're here for you, Nick. I got another female that had a pretty late shed this uh today. So mm, nice. <laughs> Hope all is well, Nick. Any day now. I had a prelay shed almost what, like twenty something days ago. So it's yeah, I'm looking at one. She's about to drop too. Need to talk. We're here. Mm. Um, way better now. This is my first year, and all three girls have obvi know that I wanted the obvi, so I'm just chilling now, just waiting. Just waiting. Oh, you wait. Fingers crossed. Keep them prayers up. (laughs) Yeah. I'm praying right now. That girl that just had her pele said, "I'm hoping she gives me all uh, ultra male black pastel head pods." What's that, Aro? A uh, dream sickle male. Nice. Oh, come on. Oh, I see what you're talking about. That would be all good. No. Yeah, hey, uh, real, real, real. You pl- you playing the whole dream sickle thing? When he was shedding in the tub, like maybe a month ago, but it's healing up better. You doing the whole dream sickle thing, bro? Uh yeah, I'm trying to make hypo dream sequels. Hey, um, okay. look, um, what's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, Billy Jay from Mutation, up in the Mutation house. Creation up in the house. has a, a dream sequel group. I think you'd be pretty interested in. Man, mm-mm. yeah, but what does Billy want for it, Jesus? It's Bro, two I grand. Got, already, already got a dream sequel, so. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh. Well, yeah, I thought you were going to do like more I, 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 stuff. I hear Aro. He, he winging them down and doing it right. Come on. I already, <laughs> I already got one. And I'm saying, I already got hypo dream sequels going. So, oh, okay. You know, uh, she she hopefully, like she and Shay right now, hopefully, she um that's a pre lay shed. So, hell yeah. Mm, okay. Question. Question. I'm still waiting on your female to go into pre lay shed shoe. Ultrasound. That's the next thing on my uh, ultrasound. Yeah, that's that's my big next big big big, big investment is I'm going ahead and just buying. A, like I'm tired. Like my mentor yeah. taught me all on ultrasound, and now I don't have it, and it's like the worst shit for me ever. I right, fucking right. hate it because now I'm like playing a wet, like guessing game. Like shit. I know, like a lot of you guys don't, but like any day, like. To me, like that's how I was taught, and now I don't have that tool. It really like aggravates the hell out of me because I realize how easy it is and makes life so simple. Yeah, just to know and know when to do this, know when to do that. Like how everybody like preaches on that tool, you guys. Like I don't, I can't preach enough to all you guys in this panel. Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. 
because yeah, because because like sometimes you don't know if you feed in you know the the um the female the right appropriate size rat or you know the, the count of rats you know what I'm or saying? you're wasting all... your male you could be wasting yeah, you, your male mm -hmm. you're like i can't tell you how many times i paired a male and i'm like god if i had this tool i wouldn't be doing this six times already i would yeah, already right? know once and done and just move about my day and if I hit lucky, I did. If I didn't, I didn't. You know, but yeah, at the rose, like, that's that's the thing. Look for them peas in the, the pod. What I call them? Look for the peas in the pod because that's what they look like. Before we had um, before we had access to ultrasound, like I thought about same thing overworking the male, but what we just did is we picked out three three females, right? And we just paired them three. We just did you do the three weeks in, three weeks in. With each female, like one week with each female, and then the fourth week break, and this rotated. So no, that I way, you're not you're not overworking. Not but <laughs> you're not promising. You're, you're right. You're not. You're not overworking, but you don't need an ultrasound. <laughs> it's just like you do the way it works. Like basically, the math adds up to you paying each one of those three females once a month just by rotating them every week, so to speak, and then giving that break to the male. Right. But yeah. question. Well, also, well, obviously, uh, whatever uh, happened to you getting a phone stand, my guy? Also, <laughs> Listen, uh, a lot of things happened, bro. Um, wanting to buy a car. Uh, oh, yeah. How's it. that going? How's that going? I, I just told you, I bought a 2009 uh, Mr. Eclipse uh, GT. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, send the yeah. picture the group chat. Hey, that's a nice-ass car, though. It only right, cost me, you only cost me 4200 nice. It only cost me four two hundred, and then how many miles? The kit, uh, 160000 hundred sixty, Yeah, you already know on fucking on race cars and shit. You don't even care about the goddamn miles because you most likely gonna fucking change out the engine anyways, bro. Fact. It's Fact. a two thousand nine so, Eclipse. Look, Eclipse are the most reliable. They're one of the most reliable vehicles. That's why I got. It. Oh, the most reliable year for a two a, a fucking Eclipse is a ninety nine, ninety eight. That's the, 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 the fucking motor in that for the K24 in that sucker. Wait a minute. So, hey, so, so, clips in the version of a rice burner, okay? Like, you can't. Mm -hmm. Clips and Honda are two different god darn things, you know? <laughs> like, but, like, I bought Dude, Have you not seen the monster bills that are done on like, Eclipses? <laughs> Bro, Look, I've seen an Eclipse get that was modded heavily, fucking gap. Some of the. Fast cars out there, bro. Look at I, yeah, I, I just um, buttons, bro. On top of it, bro. Dude, them those that, yeah, them those soul groups are crazy as fuck. That's so, so the, pounds and you got a freaking rally motor in that thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, so some of the other things I ordered for it, right? Um, I ordered a cold air intake. Um, I ordered a a a, a wing a wing spoiler, a forty seven inch uh, wing spoiler. I'm going to get off. Uh, a cus uh aftermarket um head unit. Um, an underglow kit, and then I ordered uh I ordered a set of rims, a set of rims. Well, I kind of so the same thing, Blakers. I talk. I was kind of taught. <laughs> hey, look, you trying to feel fast and furious over here. I, 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 I'm saying I'm going all out, bro. I'm going. I'm going all out, bro. I'm. I'm... First of all, Rooster, you don't call them rims. You call them wheels. Wheels. Okay, I call <laughs> whips. They're whips. Wheels. You call them wheels, and then you call the Listen. rubber the rubber tire. Okay. No, like that. <laughs> In truck Listen. world, we call them rims. When we say we got 38s or 48s on there, <laughs> or uh, these are big. These are like these are 17s. These are 17s. I don't 17s. know about up there in Wisconsin, but if you was down here in Florida, you'd call up 1 800 renter rims, Jack, and go rent them shit for your ride. What <laughs> any size you want, 18s, 15s, 20s, 22s, 26s, 28s. I'm not even bullshitting. And if you don't know, Justin, don't leave that shit on center. Box. I, I am not lying whatsoever. Man. I corner. swear to you. They're on every I corner. swear to you. If you want to trade in your wheels, you can trade them in too. They'll help you out. Could you not, bro? That's crazy. Could you not? Damn. Um, no, but um, it, it wasn't that bad. It was like 
for the for the rim set I, I wanted, like they were like black with um red accents. Um it the cause, wheel cause set. The, it's, all, like, it, it's like wheel set, okay. And wheel set was only like six hundred dollars. <laughs> so it wasn't I had to that come bad. Out the supermarket, you ain't got no rim. <laughs> they go. <gone. laughs> they gotta find your ass first. No, but it's nice, bro. It's got 260 horsepower, bro. It could get zero to 60 in like five. What's five going on with your like, Mustang, too, my guy? Is it up and running yet, or what's up? Who, mine? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my car always running. Didn't, well, didn't you buy like some sort of like packed, like modded or something? Yeah, if it, yeah I ain't got the supercharger on there yet because I'm, I'm spending money on snakes. <laughs> but, hey, at least right? he's not lying about it. You can't, you can't buy snakes and supercharger all at once. You no, know, my supercharger already already brought it. Yeah, he already bought it. It's been sitting in a box. Yeah, literally. Well, he right doesn't right. have the money, money to, put to put it, it on too. <laughs> no, I could put it on myself. I'm just too lazy. Oh mm. damn! Yeah, that like this gonna be. At least you're honest. Yeah, this this gonna be like my third, maybe third or fourth supercharged car, uh, Mustang. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Nice. So, I'm saving money for my lift kit. I, I do want me an air ride. I want me an air ride suspension. Yeah, I those air rides air are ride. nice. They are nice, but I want something sturdy in the suburban. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's all, man. Like I just, I'm, I'm about I'm, to, I'm about to swat out my truck. <clears throat> I'm gonna get me swat. another Mustang or a vet before I go ahead and and mod out that car. Or what mm. not? What kind of year vet are you looking at? Uh, like a 2016, like really 15. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm. I'm not looking at. I'm ain't trying to have no. Pay <clears throat> no, I'm about to swat it out my vehicle, black it out, put the uh, put um, was it the step downs that come out mm -hmm. that pop out, and then I'm gonna put um, either the grab bars or like a full rack on top. <laughs> I'll put a heavy duty, heavy duty bumper in the front with the winch. How uh, how uh how high you lifting it up? I probably do like two inch, three inch. Yeah, that's good. Okay. It, it all I mean it already sits high high enough, because yeah. it didn't come with it didn't even come with the original, with the original wheels that it came with. Because mm -hmm. uh, off the factory, I think the off the factory was like seventeens or eighteen something like that off the factory. Right. And I have twenties on there right now, so the bill said I just seen the seventy sixteen Ray. Oh damn. <laughs> Was it good and running, Bill? See, I'd Dang, like to have a wrestler six. mod. I'd like to have an old looking ride Ray with back. the new, you know, wow. with the new drivetrain suspension, interior, you know, all new. You like yeah, the old rod? Is that what you want? Like the old shit that you got a No, it's because they're called no. resto, resto mods. Like they like look resto, like the old like what, Restore it to normal, yeah. Uh, a rat rod is uh, more like the bucket with no roof. You know, no, nah, a rat yeah. rod, a rat, a rat rod, rod can be rod, anything, like man. Big engine. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. take a rat rod model A pickup any day, bro. <laughs> big any old, old manifold sticking outside. I think it's like the 86 model El Camino that had the sliding window in the back. There's not many you know what? If you're a, if you're really a vet guy, if you're into Corvettes, I forgot what year it was, but I believe it's a '63 that has a split window, a split window vet. That's what motherfuckers do my age. You know what I'm saying? You know. I want that old Camino. I want the Duke in the back. Cuz. I don't feel like Derek's Bentley riding down the road. I got old Duke in the back. I'm riding now. You know, so. <laughs> oh, let's see about the fam. Let me go check on the fam. No, I got a I got a buddy of mine that's trying to fix his uh his '88 Camaro that he got from his grandma. Ken, what are you doing? Get quiet over Camaros there. Are sweet now. Camaros are sweet. Um, yeah, Camaros are nice. I don't know. No, where is where's Vance go? He just in and out, in and out, in and out. And hey, we got family too now. It's like <laughs> the kids. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, I, that she's out. She's not even coughing no more. She's out. She was passing out over <laughs> here on the bed. She's fucking out. <laughs> Late <Lights> out. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm I'm super excited. My mama said she was gonna look after him, so 
Yeah, big foggy. Awesome. That's really cool, Jesus. Look at that. My mama said she's going to watch him. Yep. Mama sitting. I'm excited to actually mama, go mama down. Mama 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 Spanish culture, they're very family orientated. My girl's yeah. Cuban. Well, the thing is, like, my mom's like family is like she's bro. old school, old school. So <laughs> family is everything. Oh, my girl like trips up because like I'm, I'm like we're not. You know what I'm saying? Like I won't talk yeah. to my mom for like fucking three or four months. I'm like, hey mom, you know, like, and my girl's like, I have to talk to my mom every week. I'm like. Hell no, that shit ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, before before I left for the military, I always had this dream of like buying a big building and have one floor for each family member. So it was just one one big building, but everybody went their separate ways when I got out of the military. So everybody had their own houses and stuff. I'm like, oh well, that goes out the window. <clears throat> Saves on mortgage. One building. Yep. Boshi fuss. Boshi. What, the, what is that? Boshi fuss. What is that, Nick? I don't know what that is. I can't even pronounce that. Triple I six is Boshi fuss. What the fuck? Bro? What are you smoking, bro? We got we got a special <laughs> guest here. What happened to oh. Rooster? Oh, what up, Kent? Hey, hey. Oh, happy birthday. What up, dude? Happy What's birthday. Up, What's going on? Happy, happy birthday, birthday, old man. Happy birthday, boy. Old ass, old ass. I like thirty five. I feel like I missed you. Yeah. We haven't seen you in like two weeks. Like, well, if I could hug you. I would. How old are you? Last thirty five. Last week I was in a completely different, you know, state uh, and time zone, so definitely wasn't popping on. Yeah, it's all good, bro. Bo Cephas. See now, oh, say it like that. Oh, okay. I know what it is. Oh, wait, like, like some of you people are healthy enough to know who Hank is. Any oh, of them? Hank. Come on, I know right. who Hank is, but I don't. I didn't know that's how Bo Cephas was was spelt. <laughs> I know I was a, I was a Hank Junior boy, more or less. <laughs> I was Hank. <laughs> I mean, Hank is even wilder than that. Yeah, well, what? this this what he gonna spend his entire life in. So that's, that's pretty cool. sick. So, so can it, like it not be too big of an aquarium? Like how you say that, row is like it's gonna spend its entire life in there. It, yeah. So it won't be too big of an aquarium for it at all. Right. It looks like a two by two by two, by two box. No, it's a three uh three by two by two. A uh, three by two. Okay. So so uh, a lot of people don't know. <laughs> so like and this all came I think was like five fifty or whatnot. Oh, okay. Not bad. So you get the the heating panel which is up here. Okay. Oh okay. It, Recessed it, in the wall. Oh. And then you get the um the LED light as well. So no, that's nice. So yeah, do you run the LED at night a lot of time for like a moon phase light, or do you not run it at all? Oh, uh, so, like <laughs> so I, I'll run it like this at night. I run it probably like that way. It's real okay. dim. It's so real. It gives you it gives you options to go dim and higher yeah. and higher. Uh -huh. and <laughs> So that's really cool, actually. That's, that's, the really cool. This, that's the dim as it goes. And then this the height as it goes. Oh, Jesus. All right, bro. That's, Damn. Okay, that's really high cool. beam that bullshit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. That's yeah, really he's about cool. ready to bite you. He's like, turn that shit down. So, so it did. <laughs> it did. It did. The, the UV uh, B lights. So well, may I don't. ask, do you know what kind of bulbs Keep they're going, using? Nick. Are they using, like... Zoom Ed, are they using what is it uh that I have in there? Um shit. No. No. Arcadia. Yeah, Arcadia. That, that's what it got right Arcadia. now. Arcadia. Arcadia is the best to me, is what I use. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got Arcadia. Arcadia. It's Arcadia right here. Okay, that's cool. That's Thanks really for cool. reminding me. <laughs> they are giving you top of the line shit too, because Arcadia is like really good shit. Like it yeah, will, yeah. Uh, who, who made it? Who made the route? Uh, focus Q. Focus Q cool. habitats. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. So Wait. you get all of this in you, and you get the purchase. They like, I don't know if y'all see it. They like carbon fiber, like print. They're carbon no. fiber. Yeah, that's sick. That's uh, really sick. Are they carbon fiber all the way, or are they just covered in the carbon fiber? That looks like, like a bow and arrow. All the way. Because it's like real carbon, oh, okay. carbon fiber bow and arrow piece that they just made you. Yeah. Nice. So that's what it is. Um, I got two of those. Grooves in the side, it just slides down in. That's, that's like 
like bow and arrow pieces, bro. I wonder if they are using right. That's what I was thinking. A yeah. bow and arrow shaft would work. Too. No, that's a that's a, that's too big of a shaft for a bow and arrow. So that, that's no, it's all. not. No, it's oh, not. He's moving. Oh yeah, he he racking. Well, maybe kind of big. Yeah, yeah. That is kind of big for yeah. a bow and arrow. It's not it kind of big. That's I like told you. half inch, maybe three eighths. What, a what bow and arrow is not even that a, wide, bro. The horizontal, yeah, not even. Yeah, it's not even. Now that I look yeah. at it, now nah. they're like Bro's hand. That's really cool, though. So, I'm just letting everybody know, know what I'm saying. Like ordering all of that shit, just get it from one damn place, and um, uh, yeah, just get it from one damn place. Man. It might cost you extra, but they put it all in there for you. All you got to do is put it up. So oh, yeah, what it cost you plus shipping, bro? Yeah, that, that's what it cost me plus shipping was like five fifty, five sixty. That's, that's not, not like that's very reasonable for anybody yeah. out there. I'm sorry for a lifetime box to buy for your snake and to spend a one time price. That's yeah. very reasonable. Like you can't beat that. Just I mean, and then they did, like change some bulbs or whatever. Like, yeah, what are you gonna say? Say, 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 no, no, that's the same place I was looking at for the uh geckos. Geckos, yeah, yeah, yeah. they do the yeah. three high for the geckos. Yep. So yeah, yeah. For, for, they look expensive as hell, but they put good damn work, you know. You know, like they got this little fucking focus cube shit embroidered and borders, whatever that shit called. <laughs> like right here. Etch. Oh hell yeah. So it's a focus. Sure. Two, three, or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, and you can get that in different color too when you order. Yeah, you can get it in different colors and all that shit. Yep, that's sweet. You can get the letters in different colors. Yeah, that looks good, bro. I like that a lot. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, my that's stuff from uh, Boma. Yeah, I they, even they, saw they, everything. They, they pretty expensive, but it gives you top of the line shit. No, it doesn't come with the Mister Fogger. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. I don't think I don't even think it come with that like Bill, you rest. know you could you could drill some holes and put your Mr. and Fogger in there in less than an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> right. Give me about 10, 15 minutes. I get it done. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean oh, I didn't but it, it, you got it, this. It, it keeps what up, up, Ashley? No good. What up, Ashley? Thanks for coming out. Ashley, you uh, I, Ashley. <laughs> The hell did I miss? That goddamn snake I wanted. <laughs> hey, bro, I was like, hey, babe, no. I was like, hey, babe, 15 seconds. I think I got the snake. I think I got the snake. Fucking Ashley got down, come swoop in. Bow. I said, this is yeah. about a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I didn't bid on that sucker either, bro. There's that military talk. Ain't this about a bitch? <laughs> about a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was bro, I was excited for it. And then she gonna talk about some, yeah, you can't never throw no normals with that one, that combo. It was chocolate and um chocolate and spot nose. Spot nose. <laughs> the chocolate and spot nose. I said, man. Uh, the diameter of an arrow is six point two millimeters. You yeah. So you enjoying your yeah. birthday, bro? That. I mean it was Tuesday and I was off, so it was glorious. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you a little birthday gift I already know I know Pip uh, Some sweaters and stuff But I'm going to hook you up and throw you some, some swag your way, homie Alright, cool, man Nice. Oh. Yeah, I had to go back to work yesterday and Yeah, you got shirts What the fuck I haven't, like, I, I didn't create a bunch of shit in my um, What's it called, Printify But, but he hasn't put any orders in, that's what he I said I haven't posted a link for everybody I've been kind of, oh. like, ordering my own shit and being greedy with yeah. it But yeah, I'm gonna. Pip says I didn't buy any snakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't buy any snakes, but she put out some hell of a lot of credit though. That shit, yeah, for yep. sure. Yeah, that that one was up, man. Uh, Ashley and, and, and her wife came through with the credit yeah. last night. She put up four, four, three four. Five hundred dollar credits, bro. Yeah, that was. I love. got two of them. <laughs> that was love. Hell yeah. They always are sporting. Hey, Bruce the auction guy over there was stealing them last night. I was watching that shit. I was like, I ain't even fucking playing with his ass. 
As soon as he bet, I was like, I ain't even. That's why I said, I said, I said, yeah, I said Jesus, you bet not be in here. <laughs> I ain't wasting money trying to beat you, motherfucker. What the fuck? <laughs> I only, I only, I only bid on the credit. That's the only thing I bid on was the credit. I saw what you, you bid you on. You won the damn You bid on everything, but you only want the credit. Stop lying. No, I only bid on credits. I didn't even bid on the snake. I didn't bid on any snakes. Hey, but I'm finna uh, go ahead and eat with the fam and stuff, and I'll uh, Hell yeah, bro. talk to y'all tomorrow, man. All right, Later, bro. Thanks, bro. For, coming up. Thanks oh, for coming on, bro. Later, man. Good seeing you. They'll be on Call of Duty later. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, just... I got that FNA credit. Yeah. I got the, what was it? Um, I got Ashley's credit, and then the fucking, the hell, I forget already. Grave Rider shed test. Yeah. Oh, the shed test. Yeah. yeah. You actually have stuff to use that right now. Well, the the snakes that are coming my way, I will. I got an OD spot nose clown double heifer hypopied. Don't you got that one from Richie? It's a desert ghost. It's Posset DG. Yeah, that yeah that one too. Yeah, the DG. Uh, yeah. I forgot. No, DG. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't give us a code. Possible. Or the one Ashley's talking about right now? No, he gave oh. us a <laughs> Yeah, I still have the egg pig. What the hell was the discount? Well, the stuff from the sand auction. Because I want some of your snakes, Ashley. Although I already got like 10 right? of them over he's here. He's greedy. He's I mean, greedy. I, I got the damn... Listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> the auction greedy god. <laughs> the auction greedy god. But if I was, I'll well, buy them I'm... all, fuck y'all. <laughs> I got it. I'll buy them all, fuck y'all. That's the saying. <laughs> that's that's the saying. I know. <laughs> I want them all. Fuck y'all. Hey, I want them all. Fuck y'all. I'm not even. I'm. I'm just gonna back out for now on. How about oh, that? come on. Hey, <laughs> hey. Or you might get lucky. I might. Not, I might actually help you buy a snake, like I did with. But I, I did with now DJ. You're just, now you're just tugging my chain. Hey, yeah, see, that's DJ. I bought him that nanny. I'm just playing with you. I don't. I'm just playing with you. He's just bullshitting, man. Yeah, I'm just bullshitting you. You have an egg pig. I want it, I'll beat your ass, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you Mr. Mr. Money Banks over there, too, you know. Hell no. I ain't. What you talking about? <laughs> I just run the auction up. I'm like, yep, see how much he's going to pay now. Yeah, uh, I'll throw in a bit here and there. Yeah, I know I ain't going to win it, motherfuckers. It, there, there was only one thing I wanted, and it was the damn shed testing, and Already, it was at like retail before the damn thing started. Right. Like, oh, well, I'm paying it anyway, so <laughs> I'm not going over retail. Yeah, you don't win them things. People go nuts for that stuff. I think the, the ones he put up the one time, I think Phil bought them. He's like, well, I'm paying it anyway. Uh, right. I mean, I I got to begrudgingly uh, send him money soon and sheds. Oh, it's well worth it. Yeah, I mean it, it's nice because it, you know if the if the double visual is a you know heifer pied or you know all these things prove out you know it, it can help me uh, you know make certain pairings strategically moving forward. Uh, yeah, you know, hopefully and, I only uh, need these like for sure. four males and the rest of them screw them. All right. There you go. Get, I know. You know, I get, get the jeans into the, the project. It does. Four males. I'm gonna keep four males. I'm getting rid of all of them. Fuck them. They can all go. Damn. All, all but these four males. Is that what you're going to do, Kent? Uh, at some point, well, once, you know, <laughs> once they're proven breeders, right? I'm not going to, you know, get rid of all these, you know, proven breeders. Possibilities. Possibilities. Oh, it, actually, it's going back to Stan's auction, the DG that I, I picked up. And then I still have Billy's credit, so I haven't used that either. You still haven't picked up yet? Really? Uh, I'm still contemplating on what to go over and trying to get him on the phone is like trying to find the fucking pot of gold at the end of the fucking rainbow. You know? That sounds about right. right. You know, it's like... He's a busy auction? man. It was Stan's auction, benefit auction for Stan. I picked up... Yeah. Uh, what the hell did I pick up? Was it, it $2,500 credits? 
Yeah, he picked up a good bit. A thousand dollar, maybe. You got two K to Billy. Um, I picked up an OD YB DG double head clown pod. And then I picked up a spot nose vanilla clown. An OD spot nose Mojave head clown. So. And that's the auction that I got the banana head pied from. From you too. And she's confused on which DG goes back to the auction. Stan's auction. The ODYB DG. Stan's. Was that the double head? ODYB that, DG double head clown pod? Or yeah, the double head. The boss head from Richie? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> when you get a shed test for free, I mean, if it proves, then it's really powerful. It's really powerful, but. Is that a male or a female? Uh the the two that I got from Richie are males. Males. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I would uh, definitely be testing that shit. Yeah, like, I know. Pronto. It's yeah, free. Definitely. Yeah, and it's free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just that female guy. I'd rather have it more heavy on my female side. Oh no, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, See, male. You have that I don't, male. I don't mind getting male young. Male though, that can work four or five. You know, projects. Yeah, you work four or five projects. That's, that's yeah. like I told Sam the one special I want to get. It has hypo and what else in it, Sam? Yeah. Jeez. Is it a that's breeder? That's the special male I want, Sam. You know what it is. Oh, they was. Uh... What the fuck was it? Is it from <laughs> Osmond Reptile? Special hypo, spot hypo. nose, hypo, pet clown. Or was yeah. it opposite? Might have been opposite. Might have been a clown hat hypo. Either way, go to a bunch of clown projects or go to a bunch of hypo projects. You can run into a bunch of shit, you know, but. Uh, a reminder, too, to everybody out there, like with your snakes, like <clears throat> make sure that you check on them and everything. Like always try to make sure that, especially with live, that, you know, it. Killed it, you know, ate it and all that good stuff. But even with like a reminder of even on the frozen, like <clears throat> I had one the other day, I went, I was having to assist feed her. And so each time though, I'll try to see if I could get them to eat on their own. Well, she finally did it. And I was like, all right, sweet. She finally ate on her own. Nice. So no, like this was late at night. And so I was like, man, I'm tired. Like I seen it like it going down. And then, so I ended up going laying back down or went to sleep. Well, the next morning when I came and checked on all them, I looked and she had it like, it wasn't all the way down into her stomach. It was just still kind of like in her throat area. Oh boy. And so she had passed and everything, you know? So oh. just a reminder, just to keep your eyes on your snakes and make sure that they get that all the way down. All the way down. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I, I, oh, my, my leopard did that, and she took the meal, and then the next morning, I'm like, that snake looks weird in the tub. And holy crap. Yeah, so definitely check. And if you go on vacation, when you get back, immediately check all your tubs, because if you're like me, there's some ass hat up here that got Man, out. Did you go, like, further inspecting and see if it maybe like, a little piece of cocoa went down with it or no? No, um, I didn't check that far. I mean, it, it I'm is kind of curious with it, with it, just see, like when I did frozen in the past, that was my big worry. Like I kind of wanted to hang it in the air and let them hit it and kind of like keep it. And like, so I kind of, I was kind of glad I did like hot paper towels mm -hmm. and substrate and I hold over the paper towels more than I would the substrate because I was worried about that every time because I watched so many times, like, when that rat hits that substrate, how much shit? Gets just, stuck. Yeah, you get stuck. It's wet. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, and they're taking it down, and on top of that, like, there you go, you know. Yeah, I think that's what happened to my blackhead pie, dude. That was my first thought to it. Like, like a lot of people hate on me for the half paper towel, half substrate situation, but then again, at the end of the day, like, I love it because of that situation. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I can make sure, like, every time I hit the rats, they're on the paper towel, not on my substrate. It's in the exactly. front. 
where the bowl, but the bowl when you slide that bin in and the bowl splashes, that's the only mm -hmm. place where the substrate's going to be. It's going to get moist and it's going to give them the moisture they want no matter what, you know. And you're right. using less cocoa and you're using more paper towel and price difference. So what do you think about that paper though? The paper that you can put in the in the tubs. That the you're liners. wasting money, bro. You can go buy the natural paper towel rolls. I get like freaking like this big, and literally like. This is my second box in the whole year that I've been doing this situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now I'm on the second box and I still got what? Stand like another five rolls back there. You know what I'm saying? Like, probably about that. Yeah. Like, it, there's the pros and cons with it for sure. Like, make sure you're humiding. Like, Stan hates it at times because he's like, God damn, it's dry in here. They're, they're stuck shed. But, like when I'm I'm here constantly with my snakes and I can miss constantly and make sure all that's on point. There's a little right. different situation on, on this situation, you know. But like at the end day, like to me, I love it. I, I'm not gonna hate or change what I do because it works great for me, you know. But because of that situation, I work yeah. because I've seen that situation happen so many times. I, I've so, had it happen here. I switched all the hatchlings over to cocoa, <laughs> or not cocoa, over to paper because uh, I had one that ingested it, and you know they're small enough where. It, you know they can't they might not be able to pass it on their own so she, that was the one that had the prolapse so after that happened it's like screw that paper towels in this rack everything yep. you know new or you know when i have to quarantine for whatever reason uh is on paper uh yeah the humidity sucks the cleaning sucks uh, you know it, it can either be really humid or not um but you know with the adults and the cocoa they, they're big enough they're gonna just gonna pass it right i mean it has to be a huge block to Really, <laughs> you yeah. know, Maybe. huge obstruction to, to harm it. The way I look at it is like your internal not, your internals are only so strong. So if you have something like like let me give you a piece of wood or a piece of glass and swallow it and pray for the best and you hopefully shit out fine. You know, that's how I look at it. Like like that, I don't know. That's just how I look at the whole situation. Is like, yes, it can be for your adults, but then again, yeah, because you're like you're like, oh well, out in the wild, they, they hit an animal. And yeah, the the leaves or whatever's gonna stick yeah, to it. But right. Leaves, leaves are way softer than mulch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We use a lot of mulch, which is wood grain, which <laughs> compared to like in the wild, they're not gonna be on just straight wood grain. I'm sorry, like yeah. a tree didn't fall everywhere, and it's just wood everywhere. You know, yeah. like I mean, but at the same time, in the wild, you know, you're still gonna have. But they do call it the terms. woods. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're right. Have, man, damn it! <laughs> you gonna have a snake that's eyes are too big for its stomach and done killed itself. Uh, you know, you know. So we, with these things in in captivity, we sort of can control certain aspects, like you know, with assist feeding. It's like, well, those snakes would have thrived in the wild. Uh, you know, sometimes they don't thrive under our care. Sometimes they do, uh, and it, you know, it's really rewarding to see that you know, you know, when you, you're spending six months going, man, am I propping this thing up? You know, just constantly assist feeding, then it starts eating on its own, and now it's you know a couple hundred grams and off somewhere else. Um, you know, so th certain things just happen. Right. Oh, but at the end of the day, like how you just said, assist feeding, like in the wild, it's survival of the fittest. You think all twelve eggs that hatch, you think that all twelve babies are going to live? Fuck no. You know, maybe three are because they had so many like propagandas that they had to run into, like. Predators want to eat them, et cetera, et cetera. Compared to us right. keeping them in captivity, we're, we're like playing our own role of keeping these things alive that a lot of them wouldn't survive in a while. You know, that's how I look at it. Yeah. I watched you know. a video the other day of, and I'm trying to get, I'm going back through my history trying to find it, but it was of <laughs> a an adult snake with like, uh, like constipation. And how you have to clean that out. Like, I'm really trying to find it because it was a, a good video, a good learning video of what could happen. So, like, you know, make sure stuff's coming out, too. You got a snake that's not pooping. Like, check, you know, for an obstruction, the, the, you know, towards the tail of it. Like, is it built up? Because it was actually coming out like black rocks. Like, when it hit that bottom of that sink, it was like one of them drop sinks. Like tink, like rocks coming out, hard wow. tubes coming out yeah, the man. back of it, and, and they finally got it cleaned out. And I mean, I wish I would have shared it, but I didn't. But I'm I'm going to go back and and look for. It. It's a bigger name person, but they're they are not real big on YouTube. So I mean, you know, for something like that, it could just be 
something circumstantial or something else going on with the snake. Um, right, but, right. But, you know, if that was one of mine, it's like, okay, this happened. I'm going to a vet. Yeah, I passed it, whatever this was, but you know, so there's something causing it, whether it's husbandry or you know something internally in the snake. So you take them to the vet, get them the flagell, and you know all that other stuff, get them all regular. Uh, yeah, make sure your snakes are regular. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, that's right. Like, <laughs> but yes, like that's my main thing is like it, like in captivity compared to the wild. Like, there's so many things that I feel like also in captivity that how we raise and breed these animals. There is a lot of risk that in the wild that they don't have to face. Actually, you know? going wild tonight over there. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. It's just how I feel about the situation. I, I look at the things and I see what I see on online, etc. and just kind of put in my own point of perspective and kind of run with it. So it's your story. <laughs> Tell what you want it, buddy. We we definitely give them a better chance at life than they ha would have in the wild. I mean, like you said, I mean, most of a lot of times, yeah, it's just going to be a soft leaf or something. No big deal. But going to be those times that there's a bunch of leaves or there is that hard, you know, bark or mulch or whatever sitting around and, you know, it makes constantly. it easier that we're here to keep, you know, everything maintained and, you know, yeah, make I mean, sure that everything's fine. Because, I mean, I've had that, you know, it's that's not the first time. I mean, with this one, that's the first time I had an animal die from it. But uh, I've had, like, and not saying that anything, you know, that there was bark or mulch, you know, any of the cocoa chunks stuck in there. It could have just, for whatever reason, she didn't get it all the way down, but... That's like, yeah, I've had it happen before where they've gotten stuff, you know, like back in the eighties when I ran shavings, you'd have that problem. But now like even with the cocoa, wow. once in a while, they'll get that in the mouth where you just got to keep an eye on it. All right. Yeah. It's from reach out reptiles. Oh, it's, it's called uh, Garrett. Pooling Python yeah. poop. Yep. And then it has stars and graphic. Like watch that video. It, it is a, a, a good learning video. Shout out to Reach Out Reptiles. I've never met him or anything. That great video. I mean, you said he wasn't big on YouTube. He's huge on YouTube. All right. Well, and I didn't think he was. You're one thousand percent right because a lot of these animals will go in a natural heat to let the heat break down whatever in their belly as well. So, like humidity and temperature is another big thing that like. If I did pass that part, but like that's a big thing with all your food, all your food being broke down in the belly and everything that has to do with like 1000% with any snake, any lizard, anything that eats anything, the sun is going to help it break down yeah, the nutrients yeah. in the belly, you know, so you got to have that heat no matter what. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, for lizards and stuff like that, be cognizant of when you're feeding them. I tend to feed earlier in the day when my lights are on so then you can go all day with that heat yeah and digest and, you know, everything's moving exactly. instead of me. if i feed when yeah. i get home from work they only got three hours of that sun and then they're just still sitting there waiting to go where to go that's not giving uh, that breakdown time interesting that's not breakdown time because if you notice for the most part with a lot of these lizards that are in the, the higher temperature environments things like that right after they eat they're right on the basking spot yep right and like as flat as you they can as flat as they can get my bearded dragons are number one, belly. the number ones. They'll go eat a bunch of vegetables, fruit, and they'll go lay right there in a dead sun on their on their log and just flatten yeah. themselves out <laughs> and break it all down. <laughs> <laughs> you got there with a the water hose and missed them. They even love it even more. Then I open their mouths and they're like, yeah, this is good shit. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> You're right, Rob. Thank you. Yep. No, that, that's that's crazy you had to do with that, Vance. But that's also a good thing to, like, teach everybody in the audience to, like, no matter what, check on your shit constantly. Yeah. Keep checking on your shit. Every Don't day. Learn. Yeah, Don't it's one learn. of those, like you said, it's definitely a good learning experience because I always like to check on my stuff and make sure. But one of those ones I should have just been on more on my game and not <clears throat> done it so late at night, you know, when I'm tired, ready to go to bed. Yeah. So. Definitely, uh, it was a good learning experience, unfortunately. That's the hustle in this. That tells us, hey, even when you're sleepy and tired, just like a normal job, you want to stop. Got you got to keep fucking going. You got to exactly. put, put this all in all like you would a normal nine-to-five job that you're trying to become manager or goddamn whatever you're trying to do in it. 
Mm-hmm. You got to put all of it into this. Just like Dan said, I snoozed off. That's what fucked up. You know, like little shit like that can take us in the wrong yeah. path. Real Both quick. stand up. She's calming down, Justin. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, she is. She's really calming down on here. Wasn't that the wild one? No, that's the one that, uh, um, that we got when we went to Jacksonville. I'm saying, didn't wasn't that the one that was always jumping every? Oh yeah, 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 Natty. Kent's drinking the Natty over there. <laughs> Dude, I just got back from vacation. Been look at that white smile. See that white smile? Look at that. Okay. So what what's in that one? I probably asked before, or you mentioned it, but this one I'm not sure yet because uh, Ethan's got to get back to me. But I'm pretty sure that she's Dalmatian. she's in the red she's in the red base, but she does have a little bit of Dalmatian in her because she's got a couple spots. I mean, is but it enough she's, to say it is? Uh, is it enough to say it's Dalmatian? I mean, I only see a handful. Um, I don't know because she's like really. Like, yeah, there's uh, enough in it. There's enough in like it. Her, like her, like her throat. Like you can't see it on camera, but the bottom of her throat is like a straight peach color. Like peach, <coughs> peach. Nice. Like I don't think it shows up on the camera. Don't it have to have throat, twelve dots to be considered Dalmatian? I think I read that somewhere. She's got maybe damn arbitrary breeders. And then, like, a couple little tiny, tiny ones, but four bigger ones on her back, and that's it. I had a read somewhere that they had to have 12 to be considered Dalmatian. Yeah, but I mean, that's kind of arbitrary, right? But I guess, she's, yeah. She's chilling out. That's pretty cool. You can actually, you can actually see the couple spots right there in her back. It's like her back her... stripe is is dotted. Yeah, see it? Yeah. Nope. Hell, for me, like five yeah, of five of the gecko lines all look the same. <laughs> they do. <laughs> like a lot of the harlequins, honestly, look look a lot <coughs> alike. Whether it's a pen stripe or an extreme <laughs> break out the sharpie, the harlequin, <laughs> you know. I mean, the extremes look really nice because they're much darker, but I mean, I got a, a partial pin, partial pin Harlequin. That's the one I won in the auction in Tampa. And he's nice. like, dude, I'm so trying to tame him. If I go open his right now, bro, he'll, he'll freak out, bro. Like like a wild lizard freak out. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. You got some of those that are just chill from the get go, and then some are Dude, like. Dude, sometimes you go by his his enclosure, and he just bounces off everything. Boom, bow, bow, boom. Like, yo, ease up, bro. It's it's fun. Chill out, man. Like it's a circus. <laughs> but then when you feed him crickets, man, he goes berserk. When the crickets hit in there, forget oh, about that's it. That's good. Bro. He's eating live. Oh yeah, it's like, bro. All every single one that I have eats crickets. Every one of them now. So they're pan. Uh, I use Pangea and the Laguardi, and mm-hmm. then that crickets. Exists. So are you Pan- eating crickets? Hey, does that exist? So are you eating crickets now? Oh, crickets ain't bad for you. You just got to dip them in chocolate. <laughs> I knew you were going to say some shit like that. <laughs> and they're good. And they're good for you because a lot of protein. I need a, a sustainable protein pepper. source. I'll give you Ask some the protein Asians. Too, Ask but... the Asians. They'll tell you. I'll, I'll, give some, I'll give you some protein, all right. <laughs> Keep that to yourself, son. Pause. <laughs> yeah, major pause on that one. <laughs> like, you need a 20-second pause on that. <laughs> He's talking all that protein. He's going to be laughing next week when someone's like, hey, man, um, uh, that thing had a plus symbol in the middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have any more, son. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. <Uh-oh. laughs> Captain Condom says you better enclose it, don't expose it, sunshine. Hey, I, I've been wrapped it up. Shit. <laughs> How do we get the geckos to this? 
Jesus. I got one. One. I, I felt like I was one and done. Is how I am. One mm -hmm. and done. Oh, you, that's you what they all say. Next there. thing you know, they got three. Nope, I'm very confident. I make sure. He says, "I know." <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> I know. It ain't happening again. <laughs> what do you think? You, you think he's telling? Not. You think he's telling a bullshit lie, young lady? <laughs> huh? Hey, I did a Cuban now. Like I can't have a kid with a Cuban. She's croak like, croak your croak your throat if you think he's kid. croak your throat if you think he's lying. Oh, uh, that's a croak. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's Play definite. That. That's repeated. She's narking you right out. That's a. <laughs> Like, I'm, what, 35? I can't have another one. No, I'm too old for that. Well, that's the mentality to have. They're getting too expensive these days, bro. Yep. It's yeah, not that. Either. It's more like I feel bad for the new generation, more or less. So The like, world is a crazy like, place. I pray for the best for my daughter. I tell her all the time, like, Jesus. So. Jesus. The auction god. The greedy auction god. Why you gotta let be that her, way, Jesus? Let me put her away. Let me put her away. <laughs> Kurt's got it. I can't have two trying to off me in the morning. One's enough. <laughs> 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 I already sleep with one eye open. Do I gotta sleep with both eye open? Like, geez. <laughs> let, let me at least get one eyeball rest. <clears throat> I'll try to tell y'all, Cuban is a different breed. Next 35 with a four year old. You better stay in shape a little longer. Yep. Right. Should be blue now. I don't think I'm blue, Dick. Are you not? <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Nope. Hey, you could have made either. one of us like help control your channel. You could have like linked us over and like one of us could have been doing it for you. So you're not on your phone the whole time doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Believe yeah. me, like Stan was doing it on the Let Me Know show this week and I loved it. Like, it kind of got me off guard, but I liked it. <laughs> you, you took away my privilege after I was well, messing around the one night. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't because of that. It's because I needed Stan to do it one night because I, I was sick. So I gave him control of it. So I had to kick you out. And I just didn't kick him out yet because there's no, you can't mm -hmm. have two. I can only have one. There's no yeah. reason to kick him out. So that's Catch funny. You. <clears throat> Literally, like the next couple days later, he had control of my channel. I was like, yeah, yeah bro, it ain't happening. You're doing it. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Like, it, it, it's so much easier. And he likes to do it. That's the, it, It's yours. You can have it. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to Alex, though. She definitely, like, stuck it out the whole time for sure. Like, she, she was a trooper for me. She knew so, I was. So, what, what's nice when you win one of the, these uh, giveaway snakes? When they have size to them. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, I didn't realize, you know, I figured I was getting, like, a hashling or something like that. Right, not a 400 gram, you know, decently started female, and yeah, yeah more leopard, that, bot nose. it's a pastel leopard, uh, trigger. okay, pastel leopard. Come I on. think that we're, I gotta verify if there's pastel in there. I don't, I don't necessarily see it, but because I have pastel leopards in it, pastel leopard. What'd you say though? Sugar, oh, calico. sugar, calico. All right, so calico. Let me see the tail. Can I see the tail more? That's weird because it's not rising up. So I mean, I guess it's breaking up the pattern somewhat. Yeah, I mean, I I, I have leopards, so you know you can see the pixelation up on the sides, and it's it might not it might not actually be pastel. I was away from uh, that giveaway when somebody texted me, "Hey, you want something?" And I'm like, "Give it to me." That was me. And then no nobody really uh, you know told me what it, exactly it was. So I think Malaysia did. So I have to look it up. And if it's not pastel, I'm happy. Jay um, over yeah. here talking about chocolate covered grasshoppers. Hmm? I'll eat one of them. I'll eat it all. I don't care. But either way, it's like no, he wasn't the only bacon. one. Right? I wasn't the only one. Not having a hat, right? Um, that I can breed her and get like, no double heads into her. But you, I mean, you can see the where it's yep. rising up there. Yep. Yep. And it, it's a gene I don't have. So, and leopard's nice. And, you know, for all I know, if I uh, you know, pair my, you know, anything that has pied in it, to throw out pieds. Uh, if, it's that, if it's that line of, of uh, leopard, so right, but yeah, decent size. I think it was ninety eight percent of like the bag, right? You're trying to get out all day, uh, 
yesterday, and I'm like, okay, I gotta go home. <laughs> Put her in a tub. Who's on next week? What next week's show? Kent, we're going back to Kent next week. Is it me? He was. Yeah, Am I available? Going... I've been busy lately. Or, if you want it, it's yours. If not, it's Jesus. Right. Because we had to skip you. Yeah, I mean, I get, I get a He seat. just gave you the people's eyebrow. He's racking the people's <laughs> eyebrow over there. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, if, if, well, I should be home. Yeah, I should be home. With that Mr. You are home. Man, that bitch is shining night there, buckaroo. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, what yeah. I said when he came in. That thing's shiny hey, tonight. He pulled out the turtle wax tonight. He said, "Look, yeah, you might want to get some. You might want to get some hair on that before Daytona. You might want to have some hair on that thing." Space jam up. You get that But I ain't getting no hair on this thing. I ain't putting no fake toupee on here. Mm -mm. No toupee for me. Show up with a mullet. <laughs> yeah, I will be. I promise you that. way. you see that hairline proceeding? Toupee, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. to pay it is to cut it you would never know <laughs> hey it's a good thing alex is a hairdresser huh bro, <laughs> have you, have you seen me coming today tony with a toupee on bro it's, it's over justin i'll give you some hair you I'll just need to rock hair. the little hey hey zeus you just need to rock the little beanie one with the with the with the braid on it <laughs> the little beanie one with the braid on it that's what you need bro he can pass as a samurai yeah, they'll never know. <laughs> they'll never know. Mongolia, no. They'd be like, Damn, you know what? Actually, maybe I don't know, but I don't think long hair actually looks good on me at all, man. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. Just a single braid, my guy. Just a joint that's right you can there. Be a God dang Mongolian. <laughs> I don't know why I keep cutting out. My shit sucks tonight. Ooh, ooh, get good, ooh, ooh. Yep. Hole yeah, tell Nick lip. to take hole his hat his off lip. next time. Next time we're backstage, tell Nick to take his hat off because you'll be surprised. I was. He ain't bald. Nick ain't bald. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, he's way bald, dude. Like, no way. does not. He had a bushy <laughs> beard. He ain't bald. He said, yeah, he's I'm bald. Send me as a look, man. Picture. I need to see this now. You better send me a picture, Nick. A rat tail? <laughs> <laughs> mm, uh, that was a thing. Yeah, Nick, He's you're bald. He's just trying to. I just be if, I, if I started to go bald on the on the top a little bit, I just pull my shit over, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> just start all over <laughs> again. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know what I mean? What do you call? Well, no, that's a comb over this way. So, what do you call the back to the front? What would that come be? You know? I could that's go. I could up. go back to front and then over to the side. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yours is a little longer than mine. Mine's right at the yeah. bangs. That what on work. earth am I looking at? I'm not See, sure. Roll tie. Roll Man, tie. we ain't talking no roll ties over here. <laughs> uh, oh, Kurt, I was in Chicago. Fuck that city. <laughs> I just spent like three hours at an airport. Not his airport. Well, damn, you was in Chicago and you couldn't hit up Kurt. He would have came over and said, what's up to you? He was at a different airport. He's not at so what? Doesn't mean he can't come over and say what's up. And mind you, I was in the airport, like waiting for my plane. Oh, you was on a layover? Yeah. And I don't know. Because I had a huge one in Dallas, and I was thinking, you know what? I could probably leave. You know, Mike, uh, Spicy Mike lives right you by the You look like an olive tree. <laughs> you know, he might have been able to pick me up and hang out for a little bit and then take me back. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how, uh, you know, getting back in. I was at O'Hare. Kurt would have picked you up with at least a 12 pack of Stella. Right. At the least, you know. Dude, our, our plane from Chicago to Kansas City was. Oh, what about a colonial wig? Oh, you worked at O'Hare. I thought you said you worked at the other one. He said a colonial <laughs> wig. You, you probably weren't there. It was in the afternoon. Anyway. And he would have met you there still. He would have. He would have. He would have. Okay, he guys. Told you where to go. He'd be like, "Hey, go over here. My people will hook you up. Like you'll what, be something like style. that right there." No, no, no. See, you got it wrong, man. The, you got to go back to the old uh, karate movies. You know, like want to fight? Fight me. All right, 
<laughs> you know, where their mouth moves like a hundred times for like three words. And it's just it's just a single piece right here, bro, in the back. <laughs> <laughs> with with just a long braid off of it and some of those samurai warriors used to use that as a weapon because they had a blade on the end of the ponytail dan knows because he was once a samurai warrior back in them times hey man hey that's stance tonight it's not what, stance, it, what, it stance. It may, what it may be it may be you know <laughs> I hope to come back as like a bald eagle or something in my next life. <laughs> what about something like this? Like that's, that's one thing I always say, but my Chinese, <laughs> what is it? My Chinese. Uh, all right, if yeah, you yeah. All the See, top there you go. Off, that's similar. No, that's no, similar. nope. That's, pro that's probably pretty close. It's probably just braided from the front to the back like that. But yeah, man, <laughs> that's what you need right there. Dying That's what you need there. right there. <laughs> hey man, the last time I went to the to the to the bar, bro, the, this lady is asking me if my hair was fake. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was Did one of those hats. It? She thought it was one of those hats where the hair is stitched to it. No, she was gonna pull it. Hmm? And she's well, like, I right? didn't know. She's like, I don't want to think. I don't want to pull your hat off. I was like, Well, you wouldn't have pulled my hat off, but pulling my hair, you know, I might might have got a little excited. I didn't know this shit until we went to the zoo. But my Chinese, like, year animal is the snake. And it's the, like, earth snake like that. I so think what? I'm a rooster or a rat or something. So, like, that to me is, like, pretty intriguing, like, knowing that, like, I didn't even know that. I got into ball pythons. Like and we went route. to the zoo and saw this, like, Chinese zodiac shit. Now it's like, look, babe, you're, like, earth snake. And I was like, what? No way. And I was like, I got a bunch of fucking ground snakes. Like, what What better, you know? <clears throat> this made me feel warm. warm. Oh, call the butt, uh, Greg. I'm a horse. I'm Kid's like horse. shaking his head like, no. And I'm like, bro, it's it's pretty cool. I've been looking I don't it even up. like horse. <laughs> now you guys got me looking at hairstyles, man. Oh, God, you even got hair to have a hairstyle, damn it. For a fake one, I do. I'll have some. Oh, hair. Yeah. <laughs> Rock Just think of how badass you look in that skull suit. If that's the case, you need to talk to Alex. She'll, she'll Rock set you up, bro. You need to talk to Alex. She'll set you up. I mean, if not, you can come come up in there rocking like a 10-gallon cap or something, you know? Come in there like the sheriff and shit. No, talk to Alex. Alex will set you up, bro. She's got like all the, the top-notch shit. <clears throat> she could do toupees, blending those down to the scalp, down to extensions, etc., etc. She kills all of Jack's beach up. Get a badass <laughs> mullet with some extensions in it. Oh, she's number one in Jack's beach for extensions. If you look up Donna Bella, which is like num like one of the number one extension companies, her name is number one on the list for Jacksonville. Alex, nice. like, bro, like, don't underestimate her or hair, like. She's taught a lot of like big wig ass motherfuckers. Like they call her up and ask her questions. And these are guys yeah. that have been for 30, big 40 years hair. Good, yeah, I've heard yeah. of that name before. Like it was on Judge, it was like, on Judge is, Judy. Alex is number one <laughs> with, with Donna Bella, bro. Like it, it trips me out. Like, I don't know. She's <laughs> she kills it when it comes to shit like that. The well, chick was like, people are supposed to be Donna Bellas and they're not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's another big thing. Is like people like kind of playing it off like, oh, you're you're getting Donna Bella product, but you're not. You're getting a Chinese made product that they just ordered and et cetera, You think et you're getting they're trying to sell you Oakleys and you're really getting Jokeleys? Folkleys. They're pretty much Jokeleys. <laughs> we call them Folkleys over here. Oakleys. The street Oakleys, boards yeah. in New York City be trying to get everybody for that, boy. Hey, that's where I got my Louis Vuitton wallet that fell apart about a week later. Well, that was because uh -huh. it wasn't no Louis Vuitton. Yeah, but it sure looked like it for a hot minute. Yeah. It was a Louis for, Vuitton, for, not Louis. It, it, yeah, it was Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Louis, exactly Louis Vuitton. A, a DJ that I, that I called it. But anyway. <laughs> 
That's messed up. If it doesn't Not say right. genuine leather, it's got to be real, right? Right. <laughs> so, like the the only time that I've been to Manhattan when we was on our way out, there was what this guy sitting hole. there. Yeah, well, it, I don't know. It was, it was it was an experience, you know. What a shit. We was on our way out because he's been plenty of times in New York. What and a shit they, you know, there's this guy trying to sell his music. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I, dude, I don't, I don't listen to that type of music. He's like, what do you listen to? I'm like, I, I like oh, rock. I you know? And he goes, oh, here we got a rock, we got a rock label. You know what I mean? And here it was just a guy's music with a rock label on it. He got the three dollars out me anyway. I was like, Son of a bitch. I was pissed. I was. You bought a blank to get tape, huh? Rock. No, it you, wasn't you bought a blank. Blank it, was his, it was his rap music anyways. And I, you know, I just didn't listen to rap and I wasn't interested in buying a rap. Later, but he was oh, like, oh, here, we got this rock weird. label too. And it was listen, just his Listen, I ain't going to tell you no lie, bro. In yeah, the early yeah, 2000s, you could get some, you could get some hot ass tapes, bro. I got, if dude. you knew the right people, I'm not going to tell you no lie now. Later, Ashley. Dude, Ken Later, Ken 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 I almost read that wrong. He didn't get the actual DVD. Bro, mm -hmm. the, the label was printed from a you know at home printer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I bought some like of those movies that were recorded with a camera. I knew they was fake. I bought them just for, for vanity. You know I what I mean? So, just to lay them around and be like, I bought fake movies in New York. You know. So I, my, I knew they my was father fake. used to deliver. My father used to deliver Kettam wine down in Brooklyn. Right. Right. So one day he decides, you know, he's on the corner waiting for the light, and the guy jumps up on his truck and says, Man, I got video cameras for sale. You wanna buy one? And my old man's like, How much? Hundred bucks. Nah, I ain't got a hundred bucks. Uh, 75, 75. My old man's like, nah, all I got is sixty bucks. All right, sixty bucks. So he hands on the box, you know. And my old man don't do shit. He gets on, tells my mom, I bought you something today while I was down in the city. She's like, which you buy? I bought you a video camera. All right. So let me let me see it. My mom's all happy, excited, super excited, bro. You know, this is like video cameras just pretty much came out. So rips the box open, rips the label off of it, bro. And it says Tropicana on the box. And my old man goes, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and my mom opens up the box, bro. And it's three little pieces of red bricks like this. Packed oh. perfect so they wouldn't move around in the box. And like Kent said, the label was printed perfect, dude. I mean, look like you just walked out the store with it, bro. Tropicana mm -hmm. box wrapped up, three little red bricks. My old man's like, I see him on the corner. I'm going to run that motherfucker over. I said, Bob. <laughs> You ain't never seeing my man yeah, on that no, corner no, ever me. again. <laughs> like ever, my yeah. man made his five six hundred for the day. God. He's he's four four miles away or over in the next borough doing the same thing. Yeah. He ain't gonna be back there for months on end on a different corner and ain't nobody knowing by then. Yeah, doing man. the same thing all over again. And, and or you, you got watching that with two blocks over that you ain't ever gonna pass. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> yeah, because my old man used to take the same route because you can only go so many That's different saying, routes like, through Manhattan with a tractor was, trailer. You know what I mean? All they had right. to do is go a street over and stand on the next corner and you never seen the motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, they used to jump up on my old man's truck and try to wash, you know, let me wash your windows, man. Let me wash your windows oh, for a dollar. And my old man, he said, man, when this light turns green, if you ain't off my truck, you're going for a ride. Let me wash your window. He said, I'm telling you. And that light turned green. My old man put it right in gear and get going. Wait, wait, wait. My old man said, you going to wait to the next traffic light? you want to get off? <laughs> and the next traffic light come. Homeboy get off. Have to walk all the way back to where he came from, where all his gear is. But they do it all the time, man. It, like, they still today, you ride down there, man. Them guys want to wash your windows. But it is what it is, you know? Yeah, they were even trying to sell like video games and shit with like the the DVD blanks. I, yeah, oh, they, they, they'll they'll scam you out of some crazy shit. Um, bro, I used I, to buy I used to buy bootleg DVDs when they first came out, like five dollars bootleg, and almost. Yeah. I mean, I knew somebody, so I never got ripped off, but legit bootleg DVDs, bro. I mean, no skipping, no nothing. You put it in, watch the whole movie, be like, hey, ain't no bootleg like. 
hey, is that a shadow? Because somebody just walked across in the movie theater. What the <laughs> right? hell is that? <laughs> yeah, it's like, what, what's going on? Or, you, you know, it's so low. It's like, you know, because you don't want the guy seeing you record the, the movie while you're in the in the movie theater. You know? It's like, no, nah, they were actual good, good movies. <laughs> Seeing the person shadow eating popcorn or coughing <laughs> and shit, like sit down, big head. Trying you to know watch the good, like yeah, the good, spot. the good movie. Everybody's laughing when the funny parts come up. You're like, what yep. the hell is all that in the background? <laughs> yeah, Dude, I, I had a guy. Uh, this was recent. It wasn't back in the day before the technology existed. Uh, my dad did get uh, scammed by a, a guy sitting in a parking lot <laughs> in Philly, uh, just handing him the cash to park. When we got back, there was nobody working that lot. <laughs> um, but, you know, so we, there's an app you can use to find, um, you know, spots around the city. Right? I was going to Fillmore for a concert, and I found this, you know, somebody in a condo had a spot that they were, like, subletting or whatever. So right. it's like you go pay on this app, you know, you got you put a thing in your window and all that shit, and nobody bothers you, right? So I go there, park there, nobody's parked there. <laughs> Some fucking guy is trying to get money out of me as I'm walking. I'm like, yo, I paid. Fuck off. <laughs> and he's like follow me to the venue i'm like how, how are you really gonna do this here yo i have it on me here go away <laughs> and he gave up after we you know i hit the crowd with more people going to the venue but it's like really dude i mean he was trying to get you for some extra cash man he's yeah to make i mean at least he was paycheck, you know, bro yeah. extremely dumb because you know in that lot there's a shit ton of cameras because it's a condo uh and right. you know, it's a well-traveled area in philadelphia uh, where we were at so he wasn't entirely stupid otherwise i'd probably have been in jail <laughs> or dead but it's like really you, you tried that hard they're relentless for, i mean i don't, what, I don't what, mind for, a guy for asking 20 for bucks? a buck or two right for twenty bucks or twenty five bucks, what did he want? I, I don't know, like twenty <laughs> bucks. You know, yeah, it, it's never crazy. it's never much, and it, you know sometimes it's like you go, you know, shut up, take this dollar or whatever, and go to go fuck away, go get higher, whatever the hell you're gonna do. <clears throat> That's like when we used to go to the city, we never, <laughs> never park out on the road somewhere. I don't give a shit if there's meters or not, man. If you can put all the coins you want, I guarantee you, when you come back, you got a ticket on your car. Because you you overstayed for one minute, yeah. That's ready, Dude, and it's, ready and it's like you don't even know you don't even know where they are. All of a sudden, it's like, bam, they're at your car, man. You're like, but the, but he lived in Philly, and what? I moved my vehicle. I just happened to park in the same damn spot, like an idiot. And I came back to a ticket. I'm like, I'm not driving down here to fight this in court. Like I have like a receipt from the time I did it, but you know the ticket was cheaper than me driving down, producing the receipt, going through all that hassle. And it's like really. I moved, and even the well, car was, was in a slightly different location. Well, that's right. the whole same point. house, but moved. They knew you were out of town, or so they're like, "Oh, he ain't coming back, so he'll just pay it more money for the municipality." Yeah, that was dumb. It it, it, it wasn't too expensive, but it's like really again. In I mean, street. shit. The last time I went to the city, I think we parked for like shit. It was probably close to twelve hour parking. And was and at that time it was like thirty five, maybe forty bucks, but I know it's way more than that now, bro. Oh, we went worse. we went down we went down to watch the ball drop in Manhattan one New Year's, and it was, dude, it was a it was a party. I, I'll put it to you like that. When I, when I say it was a party, it, it was a party, bro. People and <laughs> people in the shit that's happening out on that street. Right. And not a cop say a word to nobody, bro. And I mean, there's hundreds of cops everywhere. Everywhere. Bro, That's you're out on the street. Manhattan. I mean, partying, doing whatever you want, drinking, like just, I mean, it was a party, bro. Yeah, was I, I was up in, in New York a couple of years ago for St. Patrick's Day. And waking up that Sunday for the aftermath. And we were in the garment district, so it's not, you know, too terrible of a location. <laughs> you can walk to Madison Square Garden. Like, yeah, holy hell, like it looked like 18 fraternities rolled through, <laughs> yeah, but you know, you know, what the funny weird, part but... is so you could go to Madison Square Garden, you go over on 42nd Street, and you can get anything you want. Oh, I'm sure of it, which is which is right next to the garden, pretty much. I, yeah. And I mean, anything, bro. 
Yeah, there's a, a place up by the Beacon where it's like, man, I, I was there when I was in high school uh, for the Allman Brothers, and I'm pretty sure they would have served me had oh. we gone to that place. <laughs> Unfortunately, it closed down uh, when I was an adult and the next time I was in the city. <laughs> Marty See, some Marty of those Chester. city bars, Dude, you got to why. Some of those city bars, you got to watch out because out front it just look like a bar and you walk up in there and you're like, well, it is a bar. But, you know, <laughs> the, the strippers are walking up and down on the bar. <laughs> like, what? There was no signs outside that said anything about topless up in here, but all right, yeah, let me get a drink while I'm here. Oh, I'm, they're they're sit down party, now. Now. Totally nude. Uh, you know, I advertise out front and place was pretty packed on when we walked back Saturday, but a couple doors down, there was the green lady lounge, which it didn't have anything discernible on the outside, right? Just the sign on like the little awning thing and nothing else, just an open sign. Like either that place is going to be really good for something or creepy as hell. <laughs> and well, that's, I one of those, that's one of those ones you got to go in and it's $2 <laughs> for the booth. <laughs> Who knows? You know, and the little I, I thing opens, the little window, window opens up. It's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. here is Jenny. <laughs> what the hell did I walk into? Exactly. Oh, uh, exactly. Yeah, you got, it's like, why is there two different. seats in here in this one room and a towel hanging over there on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Mighty Gras is fun as shit, too. Yeah, that's a party, I, bro. That's, that's one I don't I, think I can. I could go. I'd, I'd I'd like to check that out. I ain't gonna lie. Well, you've never been to Mardi Gras. No, but I'd love to check it and out. And you're so close. Lie. Well, I want to say so close. Everybody that tells us is like we're like 12, 13 hours away, and I'm like, dude, how the hell is that possible? <laughs> uh, I used when I used but, to stay in Mississippi. I went down to Mardi Gras one time, bro. I got hammered. I didn't. Well, that's what it's supposed to be about. You just can't get arrested, you know. Yeah. We ended up, we ended up at an IHOP at like four in the morning, pissed drunk and wet from the rain. Really? Yeah, wet, yeah, yeah, wet from the, from the rain. Because it had a, a freaking monsoon came down of fucking rain, dude, and we got soaked in rain as we're walking to the IHOP to eat. I was just showing only breakfast. Hold on. I don't know what are we eating? what are we ordering. Yeah. Hmm? Food. Oh, I am off tomorrow, so when I wake up, I'm definitely going to the fucking Waffle House. I'm ordering Mickey D's is what I'm doing. I'm trying to DoorDash Mickey D's right now. Bro, has anybody see that that so, um, that picture of a Waffle House employee carrying a pistol? What? In Chicago? What's wrong with that? No, nothing. I was just what's laughing my ass that? off. I was like, that's my kind you of Waffle what's House. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I mean, look at where you said, too. You said Chicago. I mean, yeah, no, it was funny as shit because I saw what it. What are you like, supposed yeah, to I... do? Defend yourself with a mm. fucking cup of hot grease and a butter knife? <laughs> what what the the hey, that hot grease going to do some damage. <laughs> well, I know, but I'm just saying, you know. I like the Waffle House. I'm not going to lie, but if you ever notice any Waffle House you go to, everything you eat tastes like bacon. <laughs> Your grits taste like old. bacon. Your eggs taste like bacon. Your fucking toast tastes like bacon. I swear they put bacon grease on everything. Yeah, they can flavor everything. everything. They, I, they must mop the floors with the syrup because it's always gross. Always sticky. <laughs> and chances are somebody probably got shot recently by you know at your Waffle House. <laughs> I, I, it happened here in Allentown. I, I was looking at my. Oh man, that's my Waffle House. What the fuck? <laughs> like, come on, it's not really? mine. What the hell? Dude, I'm not even in Allentown. You don't have that around it's here. It's like you think by now they, you, you think by now the mop, the Waffle House would be a little more modern in what it looks like. You know, it's like, bro, we are in 2024. Why are you still in '85? Like, what the hell's going on? Hey, I didn't like, like that's that's that that's that's the hit when you're drunk. That's like Denny's, bro. You're walking into a Denny's. You're going back in time. No, oh, I got we got one of them too. It's right next to the uh, bro, hotel that rents by the hour all day long. <laughs> he like, said the hotel that rents by the hour. I, I think they do. Uh, it's one of those chains where, like, you, if you stay there, have your gun. You don't know that like country <laughs> salty ham, like that salty ass ham, like with the bone in the middle. Bro, that's the shit. Uh, that's I what ham with the bone in the, the middle. Day. That's <laughs> called ham, ain't it? 
No, it's not called ham because you have city ham that's sweet, but you have like country ham that actually has a bone in the middle. It's salty as fuck, bro. It's super salty. You not had that stand? You're old school. You should know that. You never had it's that still shit. Ham. I had me Yo. some ham steaks. I had me some ham shake. I had me some regular bro. ham. I'll give you some ham. You're like, what? What the fuck? Like, bro, it, it's really like salt cured. So it's like really salty ass ham. But it has a little bone in the middle, bro. <laughs> it's called country ham. It's called country ham. That's a real country ham, not that honey sweet shit. This is like the real deal, like where they like hung it up and dry with salt bakes and like. Well, I mean, really, I mean, really, when you're eating prosciutto, you're eating ham, right? Prosciutto, you mean prosciutto? Yeah. I mean, that's like a thinly sliced ham that's like been cured. Cured. For- Right, so it's the same yeah. thing. It's just like eating no, it's bacon. Not, it's so not the it's same not thing cooked. as salt cured. It's not the same thing as salt it's, cured. It's you ham, bro. It's not the same. All this talk about food's making me hungry. I'm getting salt cured. Is gonna, salt cured is going to pick you, up your you sodium. Like food in bowl. Let it get food in bowl. Right now with like country ham. Like if you said country ham in certain spots, they're like, it's salty ass ham, bro. It like tastes like salt. It's like ham is freaking salty, man. No. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go bro. to the Always local little bro. diner here by me. I'm not the only one. Saturday, and I'm gonna be like, go. yeah. Can I get? Can I get two eggs, grits, and salty ham? Bro, I, I don't know. How to explain it. It's like <laughs> it's definitely an old. I don't know food. either, but I've never really heard of it. I'm being straight up honest <laughs> with you. I was born in the south, bro. I never heard of salty ham. Well, that's because you're born in the south. This is up northern thing. It's called salt cured ham. Well, I mean that's a thing, but we don't like call it that. It's ham. I will say Kansas City has the best burnt ends I've ever had in the world. Awesome. Highly That's recommend. A lie. That's Bro. a lie. That's a lie. There, done shit. I'm telling you right now. Country ham salty. And and I got called Country out. Country ham salty. From I'm telling you right now. Y'all would be like, what the fuck? This, one this was, was funny. like a big thing back in the day, bro. It had a little bone in the middle and everything, bro. Like, you ever one... get called out that you're from the north because of the way you say water? <laughs> water. Water. Water fountain or bubbler? How are you supposed to okay, say Wisconsin. It? Water. I say water. water. How you say it? Water. 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 I don't say water or water. 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 Whatever else the water weirdo say. It's just water, man. Or, you know, I don't call soda pop like, you know, Pittsburgh. Oi, oi, it is oi, ham Bobby steak, Boucher. basically. See, Jay Bobby Slater Boucher. knows it, it's ham steak, basically. It is ham That's steak. That's what I just basically. said before, ham steak, bro. It's that salty shit don't salt. taste salty. No, 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 no. Then it's not the real deal <laughs> cured ham, bro. Like, bro, it's salty as fuck, bro. Like, literally, when you eat this ham, you're like, hi, damn, but it's so good. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. You have to. You have to show Tennessee to me, thing. Man. I learned this more in Tennessee. Is where I learned this all at. Because I have family in Tennessee, Virginia, and Florida. So like, this is like more my Tennessee shit that I learned. But like this. No, no, man. We're talking about ham. Motherfuckers had these things hanging up in a bay, a big old ham hog with salt all wrapped around it, hung up in, in a burlap like, sack. No, no. Or just wrapped. It just wrapped them and then. And salt, so, it's like encased in salt. Yeah, bro. so the salt is just it's it's using it to like brine the meat more or less to cure it. Yeah, it's salt cured. So it would really only be the outside it's salty and not the inside. See, Jay Slither's more. It's salty. See, he knows. It, it, it is salty, man. I mean, hell, everything. Is a difference between the honey ham that you get from the store versus salt cured. Yeah. Salt, bro, it, it's super, well. No, like, I, I would understand that if you're saying like, salt it's ham. Best, I mean, like, if you could break it up and throw in like biscuits and gravy and shit. Like, mm-hmm. like we used to use it for so many things back in the day when I was growing up. It, like, but then again, I grew up in a country like where we had venison every day, like venison sausage, venison gravy, venison steaks. Like you know, what I'm saying like like this is like all country folk ass shit. Like I'm not gonna people. lie, I do miss some venison steaks and some fresh eggs in the morning. Not gonna Bro, lie, I miss ground yes, venison the ones with yes, some the gravy and I'm thinking, fucking. I'm thinking of Virginia, fishing, my granddad stand, and you'll never want to leave. Like my granddad has a hay field. He has like was like uh 
7.8 acres, almost eight acres completely. And there's a bunch of hay fields. So he sells all the local farmers. Literally, my grandfather, I call him on the phone right now, and he'll tell you, I ain't been to a grocery store in over 20 years. Why don't they shoot with no all gun, the local bro. farmers, All local farmers bring him all his vegetables, <laughs> all that shit for the big. Looky Luke was good. I used to run a Luke tractor. Luke, like, little these, brother. These no, bells of the haze are like the, the square bells of haze. This is like the big round bells where you. Yeah, the round, it does. Yeah. It. We got a big round bell of haze here. You pick it up and you fucking throw it on a tractor trailer, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Yo, like this is like big, and like we hit, we hunt deer. Where all did Ken go? They they like come did in the hay field. We made him right? hungry. I guess <laughs> he said he, he would said, get I'm hungry, hungry, and then he left. Yo, I'm so what is banana talking about? What about toilet paper? Oh, I don't know about what what's going on. But she called me out on you know the pop thing. But I found out where that herd of deer is. That is always by my place. So if I go to the other side of the development, I can go up into St. Luke. Like Man, I am blue. Luke and blue. Huge property. Mm. 20 doe plus in that herd. I can sneak up there. They have so much land, I can probably get one from the buffer between the two properties and just go. Hey, you know what I found out recently? A good way to get around, like, not Gee, following huh? the hunting rules. No, I'm not advocating that. I'm going to get permission. <laughs> no, I'm saying... <laughs> Ident- identify as Amish because Amish like, can hunt all year round. Literally, my granddad every day. <laughs> I, I like, didn't know. Are, is that a dig at me because of the beard? I like. I, I don't know. No, so, no, that's uh, that's a real fact. Amish can so hunt all year. round. you don't need to be Amish. All you need to do is find a farmer, and all he has to say is, "You can hunt my land." I, wild, I didn't say you had to be wildlife. Amish. I said identify. Bro, my, try my, and my eat granddad, hunt my year granddad, hunt all year my granddad on having property. that hayfield, the deer coming in late every year. Yeah. Oh my they god! You know where they're going to be. The hayfield and lay. So he's really oh, that's why he said toilet he paper. He oh, drops okay. them, bro. And as he drops them, my aunt is coming with the four wheeler and picking them up and going to hang them. And by the end of the night, like we go all in the shed and we just clean all, like dress all the deer or more yeah. or less. Okay. And dress oh, now them I get why she says toilet like, paper. Bro, like, it's, it's a constant, like every week. Pool that's through. one thing I never understood. It's like, all right, I'm going to go shoot the deer. Now let me go dress it. How about I'm going to shoot the deer and now let me go undress it? <laughs> well, that's pretty much what you're doing is undressing. Uh, uh, well, well, why would you call it dressing? I mean, I'm not this putting anything thing. on it. it just, yeah. uh, you know, I've just been all in all for, for what? So, like, well, I know it's been it's been you, that way exactly, forever. But I'm just in saying, Florida, you know? we gonna say you gonna hang that son of a bitch upside down. You are gonna slice it and let it bleed the fuck out. And that's what, what it is, you know. But up north, they're gonna be like, we're gonna dress the deer. And da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But like, you better oh, dress no, that no, deer no. in that I field, bro. Areas, you know? Shit. <laughs> I've had him dropped. I've had him dropped off at my house, cut up and in and on the counter in like an hour and a half, and yep. Yep. clean it, cutting it, wrapping it, and stick it in the freezer. I, um, uh, I got a I buddy of mine who's right now. Tell a lot. who's like two hours up north, and his son is constantly hunting and stuff. So they got their freezer full. Hey, hides are good, or, man. My next thing is I want like moose or elk or something like that. <laughs> it's been a decade uh, that I've been trying to get my elk tag. We'll see. Really? Well, There's moose, only so many moose. they give out, and you have to. Yep. This state. So you got to pull. You got to put in for a lottery for a moose yeah, tag or right. elk. Yeah. yeah. So are they yes, very choose worthy with the elk? So like, who gets a tag and like, hopefully you get it type deal? Or I, I would. It's a lottery. Think so. It's a draw. It's a, it, okay. it, They say it's a lottery. I just haven't been picked ever. And it, like the way most of these work is, if you get picked, you can go get it, and if you fill it, then yeah. You know. so, is so, it, the is way, it like, so the way it works, the so, way I've noticed so the way it, it works. Like Florida, if I if I like drove my car and hit the elk and called FWC and was like, look. I hit this some bitch, kind of keep it, but they let you don't want to hit an elk or a moose. Fuck that, right? Bro. Right, you won't uh, have a car. It's gonna bruise the hell out of it, but but my thing is, certain meat isn't bruised. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, no, 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 what I'm deer, saying like, is, you won't have deer, a fucking but, car left if you, bro, have a moose. you don't want to hit an Alaskan wood tank. <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh, bro. No, <laughs> and when you just no. named a moose, I get it. I get you it. hit its knees and it kills you because it flops over on your truck cap. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay, no, yeah, you don't want to do that. You, you want to hunt it properly. Pounds, 3,000 pounds, bro. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I mean, in, in Pennsylvania, if I have a tag and I hit a deer, 
I can claim it, but yeah. I wouldn't want it uh, type of thing. Well, it but depends if, on how you hit it. But, I mean, if, if I whack it in the knees and it flies up over and, like, you can't sit, move and it's in my truck bed and I get home, game. it's still there. No, it's I can say I've, I've literally watched a car hit a deer off of, uh, what is it, um, Veterans Parkway over there by 210, Stan. 210, you know, 210 and, and Jordan yeah, Creek yeah. Area? Veterans Parkway. I watched a car hit hit a deer off Veterans Parkway, and literally I pulled over the side of the road, called FWC, and they're like, you can keep it and dress it whatever you want as long as I report it to them. And literally, I threw it in the back of my truck. Yeah, you home. can do that, but you don't want to be intentionally meat, using your vehicle. Wrong. Half the meat was bruised and fucked up, but the other half of the meat, like the ham hocks and shit like that, I, I, I kept all that yeah. shit, bro. Like, it Guarantee you those back straps were good, huh? The <laughs> back straps are good, too. You damn yeah. right. Yeah. So, like, at the end of the day, like, don't get it wrong. The only, the only thing is... Don't get it wrong. Florida deer is Great Danes. Okay, if, <laughs> like Virginia and Tennessee deer is nothing what Florida deer is. Florida deer, you're catching a Great Dane. Okay, that's yeah, these shits down here are like these down here like they're at. like. So little what you're deer. basically really? saying is you got your yeah. wawas for deer. Yeah, yeah they're, like, right? they're like they're like they're like German shepherds. I got a picture of me up in Michigan where I'm laying next to a deer, and literally my body don't even go up to the belly button of this motherfucker. I mean, you know, are so. you guys hunting <laughs> down there or, or whitetail? What's well, that, Kit? Are you guys, you guys have whitetail down there, or just like mule deer, or like Sitka, something smaller? No, no whitetail. Smaller. It'd be more mule and a, bit, a little bit of whitetail, but it's gonna be more mule, is what you. But they're, everything is small down here, man. Small. It's tiny. It's except tiny. for snakes. <laughs> nope, even the snakes down here are small. Yeah, you're, you're. Shit, pygmy rattler is about this big right here. Look. Oh, no, we got the same thing up here. Yeah, that's about yep. the, that's about the size of a pygmy rattler right here. Yep, that's your size of a pygmy. <laughs> and he'll fuck you up. Don't touch it. <laughs> yep. I want one. <laughs> that little something <laughs> fuck you up. Yeah, I, I can't. One. I technically can't have any, I, I think, in Pennsylvania because we have one that's native. Um, that's endangered. In, in like, But you can have everything else that's hot in PA. Yes. Correct. That makes that makes a ton of sense. Ton we have sense. timber rattlers up here, but you know timbers and copperheads. I can't have them, even though they're from different, completely different locales because it's the same uh, species. Can you have mm -hmm. cottonmouth? Yes. We? Even though they can breed with our native copperheads, because the cottonmouth is not endemic to Pennsylvania, we can have those. Really? But the copperheads are starting to use their poison to. Uh, Try to make medicine for cancer patients. Yeah, yeah I've, 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 I've seen in, here in Florida. I was actually just watching a doc, like I read a documentary, like where cotton mouse actually are here, like for the venomous guys that have like their class two, I think it is, then to do to do the venomous. Like these guys are making a lot of money off the cotton mouse because they're doing a lot of research. And yeah, I think it's class two. For yeah, venomous. I think it's class two, but like, but like it, it's kind of like blowing my mind. I watched this one guy; he was doing a bunch of like vials where he was taking them like the venom and stuff and he was like calculating the money wise what he was making a month and it was quite a few thousands of dollars he was making off of well they also using that not just for research yeah. they take some of that venom and they turn it into any venom because certain yep. exactly right, certain poisonous exactly. snakes their their venom counter reacts other snakes <laughs> venom that's so what they I'm, turn I'm it into the any venom it's I'm kind weird of like how all that works, but learning the venom game, but there's a lot of money into it else wise, and just like here's my snake, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, milking them, man. You gotta milk them, baby. Milk them. I mean, what's crazy in Pennsylvania is I need more licensing and regulatory shit to have uh to keep my native, you know, timber with my fishing license, right? I pay, gotta I have the fishing license, gotta pay the fifty dollar whatever fee to have the damn thing, gotta be a certain size. But I can have King Cobra. That's crazy. <laughs> so why, well, y'all people move to Pennsylvania? We got the best laws when it comes to you know reptiles. So you got to have a fishing license to have a timber rattler. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So to, because that you can keep one of every native reptile that's not endangered or you know whatever right, uh, with right. your fishing license. One you can't breed them. Uh, you can't sell them. But, right? But you can have what a you king have cobra with. You can have a king cobra. 
So nothing. what do you have to do to breed them? Do you have to have like a class two, class no, one, no, there is no class three? So we have two licenses in Pennsylvania: the the propagation and the okay. selling license, right? So I'm a breeder, I I'm a flipper, or you're a wholesaler. Uh, right. Those are the only two we have. <laughs> nothing really for venomous. Now you got to depends where you're state, you know where you're located. You probably can't have them, but it's stupid easy to have hots here, which. You know, I agree with, you know, okay, I like having rights, you know, things like that. But it's also incredibly stupid to not have some sort of yeah, you know, anybody a, check, in- a check on the idiots, right? To put it that way. You know, I can also have an American alligator, you know, Cougar store, you know, things that can harm the public should they get out. They might not live outside, but things that can harm the public. Um, well, that's just sketchy for like the like the nineteen year old or twenty one year old kid that just like is like has oh, money and get it. Yeah, exactly. And then yep. next to you know he's sitting in the hospital about to die because of stupidity and et cetera, et cetera. You know, so now I, now I will say, you know, if I do keep hots, it will be the stuff that is, you know, with my fishing license and the extra regulatory fee or whatever to have it, and the state knows about it. But that's likely not going to kill me because we have the the you know the anti venom things like that. On hand, um, yeah, I get a good boon for 125 bucks. The one thing out here, most people in Florida say they want is pygmies. I hear so many people are like, Bro, I want a pygmy, I want a pygmy. You can't have them. Have you You ever had a fucking snake? Do you even know? Like, you want a pygmy? Have you ever? Do you know what this entails? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing with like the eyelash diapers, like, just because they're small. And you know those happen to have a variety of different color things. It's like still venomous. Yes, still could be a bad time. Did the TikTok and like was in the car with his girlfriend? I think it was in Florida. Stan, like he pulled over on a dirt road and picked up the pygmy rattle, and was like, "Oh, it's so sweet and friendly." And next thing you know, the thing bit him in the hand, and that's the last thing you saw in the video. But suppose like. Like some other big entrepreneur that has showed videos of like people picking up pygmies and stuff made it gotten sued over this kid possibly about losing his life over going out in the wild and just picking up one and and saying hey oh the next thing you know it bit him you know what I'm saying yeah like, I mean it's crazy I mean you got, yeah you do have people that go out that like that you put out because I mean I, I would them, definitely I it, would definitely say anybody that that is even thinking about getting into hots or want to have hots Don't. whatever you get if you know if that's the road you're taking make sure you do your homework make sure you're safe and whatever you're dealing with make sure there's any venom if you don't have yeah. it make sure your local hospital has it what's up benji because you know you're not you're not invincible to that shit, man. It's not like, oh, I got bit by the mosquito. No, this ain't no mosquito, man. Yeah, you're playing I, I, with this would be a whole bad situation. day for you real fast. Yeah, you're playing with a life and death situation. Or but like I said, you gotta make hand. sure, like you, you gotta, you gotta make sure, think, man. You got your ducks in a row. You can't yeah. be. If for me, you can't be willy nilly. Animals here. I wouldn't even this say life and death, death, but you could lose your hand. You could lose a foot. You could lose Finger. a leg. Listen, Tyler Nolan lost half of his finger from his cobra biting him. And but luckily he got to where he needed to get to, but they still had to amputate part of his finger off. And think about and that. He's and he's artist. as cautious. Yeah. And he's as cautious as cautious. And everything. He, yeah. He's as cautious as could be with his stuff, man. Like unbelievably cautious. I'm but not gonna lie. I watched a. Uh, sometimes we you know you could be you could be lifting it off of a off of something after milking them and accidentally poke your finger. There's still venom on their tooth. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, it we doesn't take like much. 2018 Ink Master, I think it was the other night. Yeah, like we were all just sitting here and Tyler he Nolan popped up on. It. I was like, no, the fuck way. I was like, yeah, dude, he I won that like two, three times. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that's where he initially became famous from. <laughs> and then, the then I looked game. at the year, and it was like 2018 or 16. I was like, damn, this is years ago. This Justin, his shop is here. down. I think his shop is in Deerfield. Okay. So here in that's Florida, his, man. Yeah. Get the fuck yeah, he's out. Got a, yeah, dude. All of Yeah, he's got a big old spread down there, man. Him and his wife that just got married last year, and they got a baby. Yeah. They got a... 
He just bought a big old spread recently, man. And it's funny because that 2018 track, he was hooking up with like with one of the tattoo artists. And I was like, no, I, I think he's married now. And I looked up and I saw his wife now and the kids. And I was like, that's crazy to think like 2018, he was on like, you know, Ink Masters and was hitting on this one girl. And now he's married, got kids. Like, so I got all the years of change of, of everything, you know, you're like, wow. I got a, I got a shirt crazy. that Tiff was wearing when we went to Daytona that she had signed. He's on it and a bunch of other breeders are on it. And then. He gave her a shirt the same day, one of his shirts. Heck yeah. Nice. She was walking around just having different breeders sign her shirt. And she walked up to him and she's like, you signed my shirt? He's like, hell yeah. She's like, I watch you on Ink Masters. Da, 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 da. And he was like, what side shirt you wear? She, so she told him and he's like, hold on. And he reached behind his table and was like, here you go. And she's hell like, yeah. what? And he's like, yeah, here's a shirt. She was like, hell sweet. Yeah. So yeah, I still got that shirt. <laughs> Packed away somewhere, but I got that's it. That's really cool. That's definitely really cool. Like I don't know, it just yeah. I think I think the I think the shirt she had everybody signing was from um, I think they're called snakes and stuff. Their logo has like a the old school um, like medicine bottle on the front, and it reminds you of like an old school <laughs> western type theme yeah. with the old school Hell medicine yeah. bottle. Oh. Nice. <laughs> yeah you know back to the whole you know dealing with hots and whatnot if you're you know if you're posting videos of you, you, you being out there herping you know for me i know what my local snakes look like right i'm probably not gonna pick up or touch anything that can harm me. you know yeah well i pick up a water snake that's gonna bite me musk me maybe uh you know things like that um, you know, I know what they look like. You know, I've been doing this for 20 years. Um, I will look and observe, but I'm not going to pick up, you know, something. I'm not going to pick up a copperhead. Um, right. You know, and if I do, it, you know, I, I have the stuff to, to do it and do it properly. Um, right. But, you know, I just think I've seen a couple of videos like Stan, I think, was mentioning before people just picking up snakes and then and video ends it's like yeah we well we know what they look like it's not just you know um oh here's a cute snake you know especially with like a, a copperhead because it is venomous but it doesn't have you know telltale signs of like a rattlesnake or something like that where it's inherently obvious they get mistaken for our northern water snakes all the time uh so i'll be at the boat launch or wherever and just see countless water snakes <laughs> chopped up it's like come on that thing what it wasn't coming right for you. It was going to get out of the water. And where you're fishing happens to be probably where you can get out of the water without going through, you know, weeds, tall grass, stuff like that. Right. It wasn't coming for you. It was getting out the water. Uh, that stuff bugs me because, yeah, they are assholes, but they're not dangerous in any capacity. Right. There's a, there's a black you, snake right down the sidewalk here from where I walk the dogs, and I don't. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's nothing harmless. It's just a solid black snake with like a, almost like a white mouth on it. Yeah, it could be like but a racer. Every time he sees me back. with the dogs, dude, he, he jots off into the bushes. By the time I come back down the sidewalk, he's back in the same spot, runs into the bushes again, and then I'll stop like five feet away and I'll see him slowly come out and like his head peek over the bushes a little bit. <laughs> he's just trying to come out and sunbathe because it's starting to get yeah. warm. So he's like, oh, yeah, hey, I want to yeah, come out and some like more. You know? yep. we, we actually have some roads that are like closed right now because of frogs and their, their stuff. <laughs> you say frogs? Kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, so it, as it warms up, you know, salamanders, frogs, things, amphibians are starting to wake up and go to the breed so there's some roads that are closed just due to that migration from like the wetlands yeah, man those frogs are good for the monitors uh, but yeah i mean it, it's cool um we have some endangered tortoise or turtles um in, in the area there's some you know bog turtles that are you know you have, you can't even walk on that land because they're there like all three of them uh but yeah, you know, stuff like it's nice to see that we do stuff like that. Um, oh, I forget what I saw when I was kayaking the one time up at Mincy, 
but we put up they drain that lake put in like uh turtle docks things like that and i saw three or four of the ones that were endangered sort of you know for the first time in my life i, I hadn't seen these ones I forget what they, what they were. I had pictures and stuff, but it was cool to see all that. I know I've been trying. I've, every time I go to the beach, man, I'm like, one of these, one of these times, I'm gonna go to the beach, man. I'm gonna get lucky. They're gonna be out there, and you get to uh, walk up, and they'll give you a bucket, and you and you take the bucket, and it's full of baby sea turtles, and you go out past the break, and you let them go in the ocean. Because they'll have them marked off, because you know the the sea turtles come out at night and lay their eggs, but right. they're out there on the beach watching and they'll go over there and they'll mark it all off with like yellow tape. Dude, don't even get caught like stepping your foot in that square where that yellow tape is, bro. Yeah, it, it's cool. They you know, do it because a lot of the sea turtles, you know, they don't really make it back to the ocean because those birds ain't no joke over there, bro. Yeah. If they yeah. see something crawling across that sand. You ever see those little sand crabs, how fast they are? Dude, those shits are so damn quick, bro. They're like from hole to hole, man, so fast. My dog can't even catch them. Them shits are just dipping from hole to hole, hole to hole, hole to hole. Yeah, I, I just think it's funny that Florida does so much to protect that specific turtle. But, you know, some of the other stuff that is now there, can't do anything about it. Uh like, yeah, well, they do the I'll same thing with some of the birds because some of the birds use the sand dunes here, so you can't you can't walk on yeah. any of the sand yeah. dunes it, at all around. They have that in most of the, most of the dunes. You know, even up in North Carolina, so you can't don't walk on the dunes now. Yeah. Whether it's a you know because of birds or because the dunes have a specific purpose of you know keeping the ocean away, uh, type of thing, or they're not you know stable. Uh, but yeah, I, I like when. You know, government does step in and sort of protects um, certain things. It's funny. It's, it's like down here, you know, it's like, here, you help save the sea turtles. But then you look at the pier and in, in big red letters says, no lifeguards on duty. <laughs> it's like, we'll save the sea turtles. But you humans, you got to fend for yourself. <laughs> that's That's crazy. <laughs> or, or the hey, adopt a manatee, but hold on, we'll rehab it after you whack it with your boat. <laughs> so I went out and watched the sunrise last Sunday. They had a nice little surfing tournament going on. Them kids were in the water at eight o'clock in the morning already out there starting to surf already for their first seat. It was windy, it was cold. I was like, Man, the one father's like, Man, good thing it's them. I was like, Yeah, it wouldn't be me. I was like, unless I was back like their age, I wouldn't really care, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was running out there like it was like ninety degrees. Just running in there, like, hey, this is gonna be going in the ocean. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's only like seventy yeah. degrees down there now, so I mean, it can't be too terrible. Yeah, well, last year they were saying the water temperature was seventy degrees. I don't know what it was this year, but I don't think it was seventy that morning because I'm telling you, it was. I had a hoodie on, man. It was brisk. It was brisk. That wind coming off that ocean. That's a whole different animal. You say brisk all of a sudden, I think 65. You say every time you say brisk, I think of that iced tea. <laughs> it's like yeah, 65. That ain't 99 cents anymore. Only yeah, Arizona yeah. is 99 cents. Well, depends on where you go. You find those ghetto gas stations that still have them for 99 cents. Oh, I get Arizona all day around here. 99 cent all day. Big cans. Yep. <laughs> Which one you want? The sweet tea, the mango madness, the fruit punch? Which one? The hard one to find is the is the sweet the blueberry sweet tea. Wait, when did they have that? They've had that shit forever, bro. What the fuck? I've not seen the blueberry sweet tea. Yeah, it's got a white label on it with the blueberries on the front of the bottle. So how is find the fruit punch, the high, yeah, I don't but he's trying to take the hat. Where's that blueberry one? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna dip out. I I want to get some sleep for once. Uh, it's been a minute. Uh, oh, it's been three hours. Yeah. Well, no, so, no. I mean, because yeah. I actually got like proper sleep. I only got like two days of like normal sleep uh, since last week. Uh, so. 
tomorrow I'm, I'm off, about to bounce then. myself because I got um, work in the AM. Yeah, I'm, yep. I'm, I'm off, but I might have to go pick up ASF, so I don't know. When, uh, I work tomorrow, and then I work Saturday. Well, tell Chris I said hello. No, no it's, I, it'll be Nathan. I might oh, well, see Chris. Um, well, either or, or tell him I said hello. All right, we'll do if that happens. If not, I'm going to be lazy all day. Well, enjoy <laughs> your day off, brother. All right, later, guys. Later, right, later Kent. Have a good one. Later, Kent. Uh, I'm about to take a nap, too, on this chair real quick. You know? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to... what are you doing wearing my shirt? Who? That guy down there in the bottom. Jesus? Yeah, how the hell you get my shirt? <laughs> I had already this shirt, man. Bum, bum. Coming, all up in my, coming all up in my closet like that. <laughs> Are you guys ready to shut this one down? Uh, I'm go. ready. I'm about to hit right. the sack early today. Oh, Justin made it back. Oh, right, Cali, right when we're about Cali, to leave. Little yeah. Cali girl. What are you doing, little Cali girl? Hey, She's little like, Cali. Who the heck is on this camera feed? Hey, little Cali. Too Cali. many people. You might hear her snoring. Hold on. Oh, she ain't going to do it now. She's like, you're holding me too tight. I ain't holding you too tight. Or she's snoring. <laughs> you hear? When doesn't she, bro? <laughs> yeah, Yo, she has to sleep in the living room. Like, my bedroom's in the way back in the house, and her cage is way on this side of the house. <laughs> she be cutting a rug, bro, real fast. Yeah. Soon as she falls asleep, it's on. Uncle Uncle it's like my dog, all she does is sit there and snore. <laughs> You'll hear her snore. She's a little yeah. snoring girl. You hear her right there. Go on, go on, fat girl. How old is she? she? She's what? How old is she, babe? Yeah, Callie. What's good, Well, About three and a half, but she is the ultimate... Like B I T C H of the house. Yeah. Like my lab, she runs him. My English bulldog, she runs him. I stand, Sam tell you. She runs like, over and does this. She runs over and she's like, Don't you move. Don't you move, motherfucker. <laughs> Until Justin's like, Kelly, go on. Back, bitch. <laughs> and she's like, All right, damn it. Right. I lost again. <laughs> Was it? But no, uh, she, she is, definitely no, puts him in line. Say, what's my favorite word I say? You know what it is. What does that normally say? Come Don't on. Don't get. Don't get. <laughs> and she's out. <laughs> That's what it is every time. Go on, get, motherfucker. It, it even stand last every time I say it. I'm like, go on, get. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well, yeah, like, we're like, like running a, whole, a herd of cows or buffalo, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's <laughs> yeah, you made it back just in time. We we're getting ready to end it. Oh, yep. I heard it. That's why I was like, oh, I'll hop back in. Well, I want to thank I want to thank all all the peoples that stopped in tonight <laughs> and all the peoples that are still in the chat. I appreciate all of you stopping in. Definitely. Vance, I appreciate you for running it tonight, my brother. And hey, Zeus, for being here. And my a little Justin, late, but I always. made it. I pulled a Thank Justin all today. Y'all guys. You know that. Yeah, you Pick everybody up in here. And... What you mean? I, huh? That's why I said I pulled the Justin, you know, 30 <laughs> minutes late. You know, that's a decent amount for you, time being on being late all the and time. And you know, like, it's always. Because I'm late doesn't mean all y'all can be late, okay? Hey, 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 sure the hell he can. Sure the hell he can. And make this sure, like always, forte. y'all are you can't take my forte, damn it. <laughs> make make sure, like always, you guys is uh, supporting US Arc, please. If you're not a member, please become one. To follow US Arc Florida. If you're not, man, I don't, on, know, I don't Kurt, know what you call, guys is Call doing. Justin. <laughs> He'll talk to he you. Will. You know. He'll fucking call me too. He Better not call me because I'm about to hit that bed and be like, <laughs> <laughs> he about to fall asleep in the chair too. Don't y'all forget tomorrow night, y'all make sure you go over and check out Hair hey, Down Fridays with Keys Constrictor. The chair is comfortable. I can sleep anywhere. And then Give Wiz on log, Saturday. On. Sophisticated ignorance on Saturday. You know it. Mm-hmm. Wait yeah. a minute, there. It's your night, bro. And you gotta show that hat. I got a what? 
You gotta show that hat, bro. Like I'm not an LA fan, but it's your night, bro. And you gotta rep it, bro. You gotta rep it. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Actually, that thing's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> LA no, no hat today. Shining, rock, rocking the dome. Josh and Sarah, appreciate you. Better you better not fucking conference call me. Hell the fuck no. I'm going to look at that. I'm going to be like, nope, denied. Click. Yeah. Thank you, Will. All right, everyone. Appreciate that. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. And then until next time, I guess maybe what is it? Can't? It'll be can't. If it can't, can't make it, I'll, I'll host. Then we'll do it. Yeah. All right, everyone. Peace out. Thank you. Till the next time, man. Appreciate it, everybody. Yay. Zombie. Ooh. One love, one love.